give your vehicle the care it needs without interrupting your day. No matter the make or model, call or visit MercedesBenzParamus.com to schedule your appointment today. I actually used to be deathly afraid of public speaking. I intentionally became an adjunct professor teaching tax, and I also became a Zumba instructor as a way of overcoming this fear of mine. They're both forms of leading and teaching in their own right. Bottom line though, WIS supports my passions. I truly believe that WIS wants me to be the best version of myself, and it's such an amazing feeling that I truly have the freedom to do that here. I enjoy helping nonprofits achieve their goals and really accomplish their mission, namely by nurturing my relationship with them, their staff, their donors, their volunteers, and their board members. I think the key to being trusted is really transparency. What I've seen time and time again is that when you give anything the right conditions, the support, the autonomy, trust, your full attention, it will thrive. This is as true for my clients and for my colleagues as it is for myself here at WIS. Thank you for calling Mercedes-Benz of Paramus Mobile Service. This is Amanda speaking. How may I help you? Turn your living room into a waiting room with Mercedes-Benz of Paramus Mobile Service. The same quality and care you'd expect right at your home or office. Shop for tires from all the major brands on our online store. Have them installed by a factory trained technician when and where it's convenient for you. Mercedes-Benz of Paramus has you covered. Book your mobile service appointment today. Call or go online at mercedesbenzparamus.com. WIS gives me the freedom to be entrepreneurial, innovative. I feel supported to bring 100% of myself and my personality to work each and every day. I'm the CEO of WIS. Behind the goal, we reset, and TJ Santeda has it for the Vikings. Santeda brings it right past two defenders. Look at the speed in the open eye. Santeda, great stick handling, great shot. Here's Kalani, in the end zone, it is caught. Charge. Good for the pass, here's a shot, right in front, score! And that is a base hit, the run will score, and freshman pull a check, gets the strike. Anthony Grosso is going to make sure that the Wolfpack fans go home. Pitchers, number 10, Matt Sabato, a sophomore right-handed pitcher from High Point. Number 28, Jacob Forgatch, a sophomore right-handed pitcher from Par Hills. Number 6, Jake Harris, junior right-handed pitcher from Par Hills. Number 51, Sebastian Ecker, a junior left-handed pitcher from West Morris. Number 25, Sebastian Hall, a junior right-handed pitcher from West Morris. Number 17, Jack Capera, a junior right-handed pitcher from Jefferson.
number 21, Connor Ramsey, junior right-handed pitcher from Mount Olive. Number 32, Ryan Eberer, a junior left-handed pitcher from Morris Hill, Morris Knowles. And number 20, Jake DePetris, junior right-handed pitcher from Parsippany. Now for the American team, coached by Mark Rizzi from Randolph, Steve Myron from Vernon, and Kyle Murphy from Morristown. Catchers, number one, Jake Klein, a junior from Vernon. Number 12, John Venaria, junior from Pequannock. The first baseman, number five, Tyler Shannon, a junior from Madison. Number 20, Aiden Dill, a sophomore from Del Barton. The second baseman and shortsman, shortstops. Number 13, A.J. Terry, a freshman from Randolph. Number two, Mac Tux, sophomore from Pope John. Number two, Joe Sabbath, a junior from Pequannock. Number 12, Derek Lazier, a junior from Vernon. The third baseman, number 6, Jack Harley, a junior from Del Barton. Number 8, Justin Ford, a junior from Roxbury. And the outfielders, number 27, Trent Jenks, a sophomore from Chatham. Number two, Colin Richter, a sophomore from Roxbury. Number 21, Hunter Force, a sophomore from Montville. Number six, Ian Kaiser, a junior from Montville. Number one, Matt Dahl, junior, Del Barton. Number nine, Connor Watson, a junior from Morristown. And the pitchers, number 19, James Clavin, a sophomore right-handed pitcher from Randolph. Number 20, Aiden Dill, a sophomore left-handed pitcher from Del Barton. Number 20, Toby Smith, a junior right-handed pitcher from Hanover Park. Number 8, Joe Lapinto, a junior right-handed pitcher from Hanover Park. Number six, Ian Kaiser, junior, left-handed pitcher from Montville. Number seven, Ryan Barry, junior, left-handed pitcher from Chatham. Number eight, Justin Ford, junior, right-handed pitcher from Roxbury. Number 10, Aiden Alexander, junior, left-handed pitcher from Pope John. Number four, Anthony Bubba, junior right-handed pitcher from Pope John. Today's umpires are Kevin Kane behind the plate, George Yonke, first base, Steve Moskowitz at third. The trainer is Zach Novak from Morristown High School. And the bullpen, ca bullpen catchers are Liam Randazzo from Morris Knowles for the national team and Sean Kernow from Morristown High School for the American team. Please rise for the national anthem.
All right, we got all the lineups here for this game, National against American. Thanks for joining us live here on the Morris Sussex Sports Network. I'm Dan Cleary, and a little overcast here in Madison, but we're hoping to get this all-star game in. Again, want to thank Jimmy McDermott, the former head coach here at FDU uh, Florham Park. He also is an assistant coach now at West Morris. He was a head coach at Mount Olive, had a great run there. He is Mr. Morris County Baseball, great guy. He got this game together. We're hoping to have Jimmy on a little bit later on. He explained the game, the origins. Uh, what they're going to do is the two, the two teams were split up by the conferences in the NJAC. So one team is made up of guys from the National Freedom and Independence. The other team made up from t players from the American and the Liberty. Vernon, which is in the Freedom Division, is going to be in the American and Liberty uh, because they won the Colonial last year. So uh, before we get this game underway, we got some people we want to thank to get this game on the air. Hey, it's Davey's Hot Dog Grill and Deli celebrating its 40th year. Stop in for a spread hot dog, burger, Philly cheese steak, or a fat sandwich. We also serve breakfast all day. They even have a full selection of beers, too. It's Davey's Hot Dogs, 14 Howard Boulevard, Mallorenton, New Jersey, just off exit 30 on Route 80. 1776 brings a modern, hip dining experience to Morristown. The menu with Chef David Burke's specialty dishes and approachable world-class menu is second to none. Seasonal foods are presented with an elevated flair that creates an exciting happening place full of fun and energy. It's a modern dining experience with craft cocktails and a superior international wine list, all in a dramatic and beautiful setting. It also houses the 1776 Top Golf Swing, Top Golfing Suite, excuse me, located on the opposite side of 1776. It's a David Burke is a great place to have, have a sports watch party, practice golf swings, hold a corporate event, or just relax with friends. It's 1776 and Destination Athlete. Or if you're looking to connect with a local company and put your needs as their priority, Destination Athlete's here for you. Please contact Kevin Henley at 908 500 0685 or Kevin Henley at destinationathlete.com for one stop shopping. They can handle all your apparel, fundraising, and equipment needs for any team or business. So, the home team today. will be the national team. They're the home team today. And getting the start for the national team will be Jack Capera, the junior right-hander from Jefferson. He had a great year, 6-1, 65 Ks, a 2.40 uh, ERA. He no-hit Newton, 10-0 uh, in a five-inning no-hitter. He beat Dumont in the States. 50, uh, he had only 27 walks in 65 Ks. Pitching for Jason Kalish. For the Jefferson Falcons, who shared the Freedom Division with Vernon and High Point, and leading off for that American Division squad, be Jay Klein, the catcher from Vernon. <laughs> Klein hit 349, 22 of 61, a 417 on base percentage, four doubles, a homer, 13 RBIs, 15 runs scored. Also terrific behind the dish. He threw out nine of 14 runners for 64% uh, caught stealing and picked off six runners as well helping the Vikings win a part of that Freedom Division Championship. So we are underway, nine inning game. The field players will get four and a half innings of play. The pitchers are scheduled to go one inning each. So again, I want to thank Jim McDermott. Great job setting us up, the top underclassmen from the NJAC. Up next in, on deck is Should be Tyler Shannon from Madison. Little chopper short to third, gobbled up by Simone from Morris Hills, and Klein's going to leg it out. So infield single, going around the infield will be. Now batting Tyler Shannon. Tyler Shannon will be up right now. We'll give you his stats. Tyler for the Dodgers, 25 and 76 at 3.29, 408 slugging percentage, 19 ribbies, nine runs scored, six doubles, three triples as he played for the Dodgers this year. As he played for Brian Werger, as they went 10, 12, and one, grounded to short, and they're gonna turn two. So good job of the defense. Now and that'll bring up A.J. Terry, Terry the, I think the only freshman playing in this game today, playing for Randolph, AJ will consider one of the top freshmen in the state. Has quick hands, terrific ability, plus arm at shortstop. 
coming around with the bat. He's going to chop one to short. And that's going to be gobbled up, but it'll be thrown away, and that'll be on with an E. So he'll reach on the error with two outs. And that'll bring up from Vernon, <coughs> Derek Lazier. Derek had a great year for the Vikings, helping to win that title. Lazier. 437, 31 for 71, a 518 on base, six doubles, three triples, four dingers, 21 RBIs, 28 runs scored, 11 stolen bases. And he only struck out twice all season for Coach Steve Myron, who's coaching this team along with Randolph head coach Mark Rizzi and Kyle Murphy of Morristown. So two outs here in the top of the first. Kapara Deal popped up, drifting back to shortstop. Squeeze it, and that will end the inning. So a double play, an error, and uh, they get out of the inning unscathed. So we'll head to the bottom of the first here, the NJAC All-Star game, right after these messages here live on the Morris Sussex Sports Network. I'm the daughter of French and Italian immigrants. Above all, I'm someone who derives strength and confidence from my ability to connect with others, and I strive to make a difference in their lives. A certified pre-owned Mercedes-Benz from Mercedes-Benz of Paramus is a lot like a new Mercedes-Benz. It's irresistible in every way, including the price. We have over 200 pre-owned vehicles to choose from. Plus, every certified pre-owned comes with factory-backed warranties and coverage to keep your vehicle operating at its best. You expect nothing less from Mercedes-Benz, so expect nothing less from a Mercedes-Benz dealership. When choosing a certified pre-owned Mercedes-Benz, choose Mercedes-Benz of Paramus. For all of the perks that come with working here, I would say that the most valuable thing WIS offers is freedom. The freedom to make the most of your role, to really go beyond the job description, the freedom to think differently and be rewarded for it, and the freedom to show up as 100% who you are. Hey, don't you just love it when more is just exports brought? We're back here at FDU Florham Park for the NJAC Underclassmen game live on the Morris Sussex Sports Network. I'm Dan Cleary. Again, I want to thank Davies Hot Dogs located in Howard Boulevard in Mount Arlington, 1776 Dining in Morristown, and Destination Athlete for sponsoring this game. And getting in the start here in the bottom of the first, Ian Kaiser from Montville. Ian, a, a five-tool player. Um, Pitching-wise, 49 and two-thirds inning, 28 hits, eight earned runs, 38 walks, 85 Ks, a 1.13 ERA. Just had a great season, the lefty for the Mustangs. And I'm going to bring in the aforementioned Jim McDermott, uh, Mr. Morris County Baseball. Jim, you've been around a long time. You set this game up. Give everyone a little bit of a history of how this all came about. Well, a, a couple of years ago, some of my friends that coached in different counties, I always saw that they had an undergrade game. And, you know, the state does one uh, run by John Kroger at Diamond Nation. And I think sometimes the people up in Morris, or, uh, Warren and Sussex County kind of get the short end of the stick. And I thought it would be a great opportunity to put it together. And uh, four years ago, I put one together. We did it up at Skylands. And then uh, this year, I came back, and I saw a game down here, and the facility is phenomenal. I used to, I coached here back yes. in the early 90s. Didn't I'm look saying, like this, did it? And no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> it is phenomenal. And I was talking to Coach Quinn, and uh, we just went, up, went about things, and we're like, hey, you know what? Would you be interested? He goes, I would love to. And plus, you know, get to get the kids on campus and people to see it. Yeah, and that and you know, I can't tell you how many parents come up just walking in and going, oh, my gosh, I, don't know this, I didn't know this was here. This is gorgeous. It, it is gorgeous. Well, leading off in the national team will be Josh Brancy, the sophomore from Sparta, two-time team MVP. That's pretty impressive when you're a sophomore. He had uh, 44 hits. His school record's 48. Todd Ringala had that. And he was also chasing the stolen base record held by Thomas Ruddy, who's the captain at Yale right now. That'll be low. Uh, Brancy, 449, 20 ribbies. And a 481 on base percentage. He was the leadoff batter for Sam Sablosian, who's done an amazing job all those years up at Sparta. Josh, also a tremendous football player for Frank Marciano. And just talk about the process, how you got these guys on the team. How, what was the selection process like? Well, in the beginning of May, I sent out an email to all the coaches in the, uh, in the conference, and I asked them to nominate their best underclassmen. Uh, I compile all the information that the coaches bring in, I put them in positions. <laughs> And then uh, we go to our, one of our sponsors, Davey Dogs. We go there to we go. Sunday morning, and myself and, uh, you know, Coach Rizzi, Coach Mandrabo, uh, Coach Berg, Coach Myron, 
Coach Kalish, uh, we sit there and we go through the stats and we talk to the kids. And, you know, unfortunately, you can't have everybody in the game. So there are some students and some players that didn't make it. But it's the best college-ready players. Yeah. You know, we, I'm getting phone calls from college coaches. Hey, is this, this, this player in the game? Yes, he is. Yes, he is. So we're trying to get the best college talent out here uh, to, to get evaluated. And we have a really good turnout with coaches down below watching the game. And, uh, and just being broadcast live was also helpful because I've had a couple coaches from different states that I've been in contact with locally. And they says, I can watch it live. Yeah. So yeah. And they're like, that's great. Awesome. And in the batter's box, speaking of college ready, already made a commitment to Virginia's Dickerson from Morris Knowles. And that's going to be a shot over the center fielder. Brenzi, who walked, he's got great speed. He's going to come around the score. And he's going to get a stand-up triple. So you talk about college ready, coach. <laughs> yes, he can run a little bit as well. So triple dead center. And now batting the new national player. team will get on the scoreboard. This will bring up Nick Schuett from Mountain Lakes. Nick, 444, 40 hits, and he had nine home runs. Wow, 34 runs scored, 10 doubles, and 31 RBIs. Wow. I can see why he's batting third, Coach. <laughs> and Let he also had a good year on the mound. Yes, he did. That, that's the other thing. You selected some guys just to pitch, because, but there's other guys out there. Most of these guys all have to throw these days. Correct. With pitch, with, uh, pitch counts and all that. Guys are deals. Fouled away. And I'm sure you got a great reception from all the coaches. You know, the you know, we want to get my kids in this game. Yeah, well, I, I do. I get emails from coaches all the time. You know, some of them are very happy, some of them, you know, why didn't my why didn't my player get in? And unfortunately we can't take everybody. We try to take the twenty five best and divide them out by their conferences, uh, and their divisions I should say, and try to keep it that way. And you know, the first year the game was really Played well, came down to the last inning. Same thing here. Hopefully, this will be a good game as well. And we'll score on that. So it'll be 2 0. So Dickerson drives in a run, scores a run. Shoot, we'll go to the first. And that'll bring up JT Abrushi, the catcher from Mount, Mount Olive. And JT had a good year, shared the national division with your West Morris Wolfpack. Uh, JT, 26 to 75, 347, 547 slugging. 11 RBIs, seven doubles, two homers, and a triple. You got to see JT up close and personal a couple of times this year, Coach? Yes, we did. A really good explosive player. Uh, very talented, very athletic. Can catch, can play shortstop, can pitch, can play the outfield. And that's the thing, too, Coach. We were talking before. It's so much talent in this area that kind of flies under the radar, but then you're looking at the College World Series. <laughs> Finley from uh, Roxbury's playing. Bellow. From uh, Pope John playing for Auburn. I mean, it's just amazing, the talent in this area. It is. And I, I, like I said, I think that sometimes Warren and Sussex County and parts of Morris really don't get their, their just reward. You know, everybody knows about your Del Bartons and things to that effect. Right. But the other programs, you know, there's some kids here today that, that are having a lot of D1 looks. You know, the Kaiser is one. The kid Terry has Division One offers as ready. Already as a freshman. As a freshman, yes. You know, Ford from Roxbury is a good player. The kid Dill is, is a real, real good player from... Del Barton as well. And that's going to get in there. So Bruce will reach on the E2, E4, excuse me, and that will bring up. Now batting, Nico Dunn. Nico Dunn, number 10 out of Mountain Lakes, hit 283, seven dingers, 26 RBIs, 24 runs scored. He was a leadoff batter, and he started three straight games with dingers. So nice job by him. Playing for Kevin Wallace. They shared their division with Parsippany, 9 1 record. And what a great year for the NJAC baseball wise. Like so many, couple of uh, Freedom Division was Tri Champs, Vernon, uh, High Point, and Jefferson. You guys in the National uh, shared it with uh, Mount Olive. Just shows how with the, the talent level is unbelievable. And if you look, when you go into the, uh, into the state sectionals, you look at where these teams are ranked. There's quite a few teams that are, you know, top five seeds in each section. You know, which, which is kind of funny is, you know, West Morris and Mount Olive touch each other, and yet they're in different sections. <laughs> right, <laughs> yeah. You know, one's in section one, one's in section two. But they just try to do that to even out the numbers. I know. And I always joke when I see people from the stands, like, I have to buy you guys a map down in Robbinsville. 
it, it's even worse than lacrosse, Coach. Madison is South Jersey in lacrosse. <laughs> <laughs> Getting the strike out there. So Dunn will go down. That'll be our first out of the inning. And this will be Michael Simone out of Morris Knowles. Michael hit 356, 31 hits, 19 runs scored, 18 RBIs. Has a lot of power. We got to see Morris Hills, Morris Knowles the last game of the regular season. And boy, I tell you that the wind wasn't blowing, but Knowles had five home runs in that game. And he had one of them, if my memory holds right. Well, we unfortunately, we had uh, Mr. Dickerson hit three against us in a game <laughs> our first time around at Morris Knowles. Wow. Not exactly a band box either. No. So one out runners on first and second for the national team. They have a 2 nothing lead fouled away. But heads up. That would be interesting. That you said you started the game four years ago. How many of the kids, underclassmen kids went on to play in the state all-star game when they were seniors? I'm sure a bunch. Uh, I don't I don't know the exact numbers, but I know quite a few. Yeah. But I think the first game that I put on, I think 83% of the kids are playing college baseball. That's I tremendous. went through the numbers and counted them, and I was like, holy cow. That's just So tremendous. we did a good job picking it at that point. Yeah, you did. did. Well, I think you've probably done a good job every year. Again, with so much talent, it's tough to pare it down. Kaiser deals. It's right up, and he catches it. Could be two, but it'll... Just the fact he caught that and didn't lose his head, he should be happy with that. So great job by Kaiser. That was self-preservation there. A hot smash from Simone. This will bring up Nugent from Mad Olive. Take a look at this. Right back at him, puts the glove up and holds on. He had the presence of mind to try to get two at second. Pretty impressive. So Nugent, Nugent a sophomore, 27 for 84, 321, 39 runs scored, 431 on base, 440 slugging, 872 OPS, 14 RBIs. He's a leadoff hitter for the Marauders. And we're going to have a runner at first base. And I think it's Ryan Oosterhood from yes, uh, Morris Catholic. From Morris Catholic, Ryan Osterhout, yep. So, Coach, it's got to be nice for you to watch these guys play together. You don't have to go against them. <laughs> yeah, 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 it's very nice to be on this side of the white lines. Absolutely. So runners on first and second. Kaiser deals. <clears throat> A little 2 nothing lead. For the National Club. Klein can't find it. Over to third, and the runner's going to be safe. And a lot of these kids, they play because they're underclassmen. They're all playing travel ball at this point. Correct. They're playing for their respective clubs. So this is just a great job to get, to get a couple more swings, get couple more throws. Now, you were talking about the kid from Randolph uh, Cleveland. He's not going to pitch today because he pitched in a club game, correct? Well, well he has a... Uh a club game tomorrow night. Okay. Uh, he, he threw really well last weekend at a Morris County Cubs workout, and there's some people coming from a big distance to come watch him throw tomorrow night. Can't blame him. So it, and this is what this is for. Get these right. kids exposure. Let coaches see them, see how they play the game. You know, it's also different. Some of these, they haven't played together with some of these kids, so right. they do things a little differently. And again, Kaiser keeps his cool, goes over the first, and that'll get away from them. One run will score. And they'll hold the runner at third. So hot smash, and he threw away, allowing the runner to go to second. So an infield hit for Nugent. He's got to feel like he's a pinata out <laughs> there. That's two times going after him. Wow. This will bring up Jordan Ake from Dover. 429, 24 hits, eight doubles, 12 stolen bases, 15 uh, runs scored. And as Coach mentioned, a lot of these guys pitch. He won't pitch today, but he was one of the Tigers' top pitchers in 35 innings, 40 strikeouts, 3.25 ERA. You know, he plays for uh, Mike McDonald uh, yes. over at Dover. And, and, you know, Mike's like, he's very honest with his assessment. He goes, Coach, I got a kid that not too many people know about I think would really benefit from playing in the All-Star game. 
And I'm like, sure, send me his stuff. And we looked at it, and he fits the position that we needed. And we're like, sure, let's let him go. Nice. You know, let him come in here and play. And, you know, I think Mike McDonald, I call it the first family of baseball in Morris County with his brother Dan, right. his other brother Kevin, his father John, who was a phenomenal player back in the day at Morris Knowles and then at Mississippi State. So, uh, there's, you know, they're baseball people through and through. And when they give you a recommendation on a player, right. you listen. You listen. Guys are trying to get out of this without the ball hitting him again. He's going to pick up the strikeout. But the national team's going to pick up three runs and one inning in the book here at FDU Florham Park. Live on Morris Sussex Sports Network. It's National 3, American 0. We'll be back with the top of the second. And, Coach, you'll be back with us, right? Come back for yes, another sir. inning. That'll be great. We'll be back with Jim McDermott in the top of the second right after this, live on the Morris Sussex Sports Network. Or do you prefer a silent motion-detecting camera just following the movement on the court? Let's face it, the only real way to watch your favorite team is through Morris Sussex Sports' award-winning service that it's brings you play-by-play -play commentary, right live instant replays, cool cinematic graphics, real-time scoreboard, fun fan engagement, and much, much more. Plus, all of our broadcasts are free to watch. Grandparents can easily pull it up on their smart TVs, and alumni can watch from all over the world. So if you want to reserve us, have your games broadcasted the Morris Sussex Sports way, then just reach out to me, George Muha, at george at morrisessexsports.com or call or text me at 973-713-5944. Few dealerships stand out like Mercedes-Benz of Paramus. From the inside to the outside, we have it all. A top-of-the-line showroom and lounge. The finest luxury cars, SUVs, and certified pre-owned, too. A used car center. All makes and models in a wide range of prices. Choose between our on-site service center or we'll come to you. Here, our sales team makes your complete satisfaction their number one goal. Stand out in a vehicle from Mercedes-Benz of Paramus. Hey, Jason, what's up? Hi, Mr. Boone. We just finished servicing your vehicle. Nice. We replaced your windshield wipers? change your cabin air filter, and topped off your windshield wiper fluid. Wow, thanks, Jason. Is there anything you guys can't do? When it comes to regular maintenance, we can do almost everything right in your driveway. Whether you're at home or at the office, Mercedes-Benz of Paramus Mobile Service will give your vehicle the care it needs without interrupting your day. No matter the make or model, call or visit MercedesBenzParamus.com to schedule your appointment today. I actually used to be deathly we're back here live, and Jack Underclassman, All-Star Game, Dan Cleary, along with the game organizer, Jim McDermott, assistant coach at Westmore, longtime head coach at Mount Olive, and Coach Deer. Also, Seton Hall you coached at. And, uh, oh, it was Seton Hall, it, uh, Trenton State back when it was Trenton State. Wow. CCM back when the, in the heyday of you Dennis Morgan. You Dennis Morgan and Lee Saris? Yes, back when we went to the World Series, finished third a couple times. Wow. John Kroger's right down below. He was our, our catcher uh, for us back in 86 and 87. Well, pitch, pitch, excuse me, Coach, pitching right now, Jake DePretius from Parsippany. Uh, Jake, 45 innings pitched, 25 hits. He was 7-1 and one for the Red Hawks, 13 earned runs, 14 walks, 63 Ks, and a 2.24 ERA for the veteran coach, Ken Dopkin. Ken did a great job with that program a couple of years ago. Was it the same year you went to the finals? They got to the finals, Parsippany Group 2? I think so, yes. And then... Roxbury was in the mix that year, too, with Group 3 with Greg Trotter. Yeah, well, C Coach Trotter and I are, are, are really good friends, and we're, like, b texting each other on the bus rides down. And Right, I remember that. Yeah, they played uh, – we played, I think, at Tom's River North, and I think they played at South or vice versa. And this is Jack Harley up at bat, the lefty. Terrific year for Bruce Chattel in the green wave. 365, 35 RBIs, 20 runs scored, pops it up, shallow left, and calling it as a left fielder and making the catch. And that'd be the first out of the inning. You know, putting something on an, an event like this, I have, like I say, a lot of people behind the scenes that do a lot of work. You know, like, like say Coach Kalish and the other coaches here, Mandrabo and Rizzi, okay, and Coach Murphy and Coach Myron. And, you know, it just takes everybody to do something like this and you bounce ideas off of each other. And then it's also, you know, from a financial standpoint, this doesn't, this isn't, you know, cheaply run. I try to do right. things first class. And it is. You know, we have awards at the end of the game. We have a pitcher of the game. We have a hitter, an offensive player of the game, and a defensive player of the game. So, you know, in order to do that, we have to do a little bit of fundraising. You know, I have sponsors. Davies Dogs uh, is a sponsor. Uh, 
a former player of mine from FDU, Chance Healy. He's partners in that 1776 by David Burke, and uh, they're our broadcast sponsor. They're they've, uh, paying for the rights to broadcast the game, which is greatly appreciated. And then also we have uh, Destination Athlete uh, by Kevin Henley Jr. Uh, out at West Morris. He's also giving us a sponsorship. He does a lot of fundraising activities. He's, he does FDU here in Madison. He does their fundraising and their apparel. He does it at West Morris and a few other high schools. You know, if you're looking for something for your team, that's a good place to start is check out that Destination a Athlete and uh, Kevin Henley Jr. All right, this is Trent Jenks from Chatham, sophomore. Hit 500, four, 22 for 44, 14 runs, 11 RBIs, two doubles. And again, folks, all those businesses that Coach McDermott mentioned, please patronize them. They're all part of the community, getting great exposure for these young men here in this All-Star game. It's a one-two count with one out. Coach, let's talk about the coaches in Morris County and Sussex and, and Warren all part of that end, Jack. There's just some great coaches. And I think if you want proof of that, when you when you look in the state tournaments, every year there's two or three teams that are going to sectional finals or group finals. You know, there's there's nobody you just show up and say, oh, we, we can just out-coach them. You have to come every game and be prepared and do your scouting and understand what some tendencies are with certain teams and how they do things. You know, it's, it, it's tough. It really is. And that's part of the game that, like, I really enjoy and I think most of the coaches do. You know, every conference has guys that are tough and, you know, you don't come to play and their kids come to play. And I also think in this area, you get some tough, hard-nosed kids. Absolutely. I agree with that 100%. Jenks is going to walk, walk the walk with one out. You know, we played Roxbury earlier in the year, and this is Colin, uh, Colin Richter coming up. And every coach that no, filled no, out no, the no, forms, no. we asked him to nominate another player. And he was on six coaches' forms. Wow. Just defensively. I mean, the ball that he just missed, he almost caught in center field, the shot that Dickerson hit. Right. This kid will be playing at a very high level, just even defense alone. He had 356 this year, 36 for 101, 33 runs scored. Runner will take a second. 24 RBIs, 20 stolen bases, 12 doubles, two triples, four dingers. And filling up the old stack column. You know, one of the things you have here in an all-star game is you have pitchers working with catchers that they're not used to. Correct. So, you know, one, one player A slider might not bite like player B slider and a breaking right. ball and two-seam run. You know, that's one of the things that you see. Hit the ball down the line. Rips it in there. That'll be an RBI. See if he gets a second RBI double for – and he will get in there. Nicely done for Richter. Make it 3-1. And bring up Connor Watson. Connor's a legacy. His brother played in this game uh, four years ago. Okay. When he was in Marstown. Good season. The junior, 24 of 84, 286, four doubles, one triple, two homers, 11 stolen bases. Usually batted somewhere in the top three in the batting order for Coach Kyle Murphy. 15 runs, nine RBIs. versatile players when we played Morristown later in the season. He played shortstop against West Morris. Swing and a miss. We were talking before the game with Coach Jason Kale, which is a uh, old sweet mate of Kane was Kyle Murphy. Those guys won a college World Series. Well, Murphy was on the team before Kalish got there. Kyle also does a great job as the girls' basketball coach in Lenovee Valley. Right on the corner, and that'll be a strikeout looking. So second out of the inning. And you got to love with Morris County, these guys coming back to coach again. Oh. They played here, now they're coaching. Yep, and it's funny being around like I have, you know, I go see some of these teams and we see assistant coaches that either some of them I played for or played for me and coached against, and you've seen them all the time. It's, it's, it's great to see them giving back to the game that we all love so much. This is James Cleveland out of Randolph. He got the start in the Morris County Championship game and pitched well, but just no, too no. much Aiden Dill that night for yeah. Del Barton. Uh, he threw a two-hitter in the Morris County Championship game. Oh. Petrus gets ahead 0-2. Big kid. We were joking. You see those Randolph guys walking in. It looks like a football team. Yeah. 
And Kapitras gets the strikeout, and that will end the inning. So after the one and a half innings of play here at FDU Florham Park, our score 3-1 National Over American, the NJAC Underclassmen All-Star Classic, brought to you by Morris Southern Sports. We'll be back. I became an adjunct professor teaching tax, and I also became a Zumba instructor as a way of overcoming this fear of mine. They're both forms of leading and teaching in their own right. Bottom line though, WISP supports my passions. I truly believe that WISP wants me to be the best version of myself, and it's such an amazing feeling that I truly have the freedom to do that here. I enjoy helping nonprofits achieve their goals and really accomplish their mission, namely by nurturing my relationship with them, their staff, their donors, their volunteers, and their board members. I think the key to being trusted is really transparency. What I've seen time and time again is that when you give anything the right conditions, the support, the autonomy, trust, your full attention, it will thrive. This is as true for my clients and for my colleagues as it is for myself here at WIS. And welcome back to FDU, Florham Park, and Jack Underclassman All-Star Game. Dan Cleary along with the game's organizer, Westmore assistant coach Jim McDermott. And coming into the pitch now, Justin Ford, the junior right-hander from Roxbury. 5-1, 1.82 ERA, 46 innings pitch, 22 hits, 12 earned, 20 walks, 64 Ks. Coach, we were talking between innings about this young man. What a future. Oh, he has electric stuff off the mound. Uh, he's also a two-way player. He's except he's going to play third base the second half of the game. Uh, he can swing it as well. He's going to face Aiden Mitchell from High Point. Aiden had a big oh, year for Ryan Ellis. Ellis 25 to 72, 410, had a 500 on base percentage, 803 slugging, 32 ribbies, six dingers, 13 walks, and four doubles, and 18 runs scored. I got to see this young man play a couple times this year, and he can rake it. I, I had heard a lot of very good things said about him. And he will get a free trip to first base. And then it will bring up, I believe this is Brancy from he, Sparta. Yes. <laughs> Brancy walked his first time up and scored. And Coach, explain the format. We were saying that the field players are going to get what, how many uh, innings? They're going to play four and a half, and then there'll be a new group of players in the field. Uh, we have three pitchers, Kaiser, Ford, and Aiden Dill, who are going to pitch in the first three innings and then go in the field. Uh, we found, I've, I had a couple uh, higher-level college coaches contact me and wanted to know if they're going to be able to do both. So I'm saying, sure, not a problem. And that's what this is for. Yep, get him exposure. Everyone gets exposure. Now, you know what? They might be here to see him. You might make a great play in right field, and they say, who's that kid? That's, you know, it's, like I said, being around the game as many years as I have, it, it happens that, that way. You go to look, you're going to look at one player, and all of a sudden somebody else catches your eye. Or, well, like you said, some of these kids nobody knows about. You know, some of these other schools are like, oh, I never get up there to see him, and they're like, wow, that kid can play. Absolutely. I was saying that the kid that's on first, Mitchell, he's as good a hitter as I've seen. I've seen all the best from Morris County this year. Yeah, he, he's he's very good, and Coach Ellis does a great job up there. And they've always had very good players. When I was coaching here at Fairleigh Dickinson, I had one of the best pure athletes ever in Sussex County to come play here. Absolutely. Vic Moncato. Uh, he finished third in a Division three Heisman two years in a row. He played baseball for, for three years for me. And, and a great kid. He lives down in Florida. He's very active in the FDU alumni groups. Runner goes a little hit and run. Nice play at first by Shannon. Will he get there? Brancy nicely done by the pitcher covering first. You know, and I had another, another player, John Friday, uh, from High Point, came down and played for me. He was our conference player of the year, I think, in 94 or 95 for the MAC. So uh, I've had some success up there when I was in college recruiting. But I know they have really, really good players up there. They swing it. And like a lot of the Sussex County schools, people don't know about how good right. these kids are. Uh, Ryan Ellis, their head coach, played at Harford D1. What, what kind of has hurt Sussex over the years, Coach, is they only have had one team win a state title. And that was in Newton in 1985. The great Eric Peterson was on that team. Mm -hmm. Georgie Bell. 
Mike Bell, who's played in the majors, popped up. Dickerson, Dickerson's first time up, he hit that triple to dead center. He just got under that one. And they'll get the pop up to short for the second out of the inning. Just got under that. Yeah, that was a pretty good swing on it. But I think that's kind of hurt Sussex over the years. But, you know, Jefferson is in Morris County, but played all the Sussex schools. And they had great players, Sean Stokes, mm -hmm. Michael Leach. Leach played football post uh, high school, played in the NFL for, for two, for probably, I think, 12 years, 13 years. He was a long snapper. So, yeah, you're right about that. So Morris County, great tradition of baseball. You go back to the late great Harry Chattel at Morristown. And then his, his coaching tree of Tommy Hill and mm -hmm. Kevin Murray and then his son and Coach Trotter yep. and Coach Widener. And, you know, they all kind of work together and do stuff. Snap throw. That'll go into center field. Mitchell will hold. The great, late, great Brian Fleury. Oh. Played many, played many years in the Morris Majors against him. Mm -hmm. Yeah, people kind of forget that Bruce had great teams at Roxbury before he went to Del Barton. Oh, yeah. Now, unless you're like an old-time Morris County baseball fan, you don't realize that. You know, the people might say, well, he wins He wins because he's at a, at a non-public. Well, he won with a public school. Yeah. Not not bad having a mentor like your dad, like Harry. No. I, I got dealing with Harry early in my career, and what a gentleman. Absolute gentleman. This is Schuett from Mountain Lakes. And he got a hold of that one. That's going to maybe catch a gap. Let's see. And it will go to the wall. And that'll be a double for him. We talked about his power numbers earlier. He's got legit power. Pitch will come around the score. So we'll bring up JT Abruzzi from Mount Olive. JT reached on an error. Shoots numbers again. Shoots numbers again because he got he crushed that. It was a, he yep he had thirty four runs scored and ten doubles. Take a look at this. Wow. Probably gone in a lot of high school fields. Oh, I'd say most. <laughs> Hit it right down to 390. Coach Kevin Wallace of Mountain Lakes, another veteran coach. Gets the outside corner. And they, and they have three players in the game now, this year, and they're all coming back next yeah. year, which is going to be, I know, Sh I think Shewitt pitches as well, and uh, Manny Otis is also a, a, a legit player, and, and Nico Dunn had good power numbers. Well, they shared the division with Parsippany, both 9-1. and one. Walker Valley won the Colonial. They went undefeated. Del Barton won the American. Went ten and one. You go ten and one in that American division. Wow. Yeah, that is a meat grinder. Mm -hmm. Del Barton won the Morris County Championship again and lost a heartbreaker to Don Bosco. I don't know if you heard of. I I heard later on there was a foul ball that he, uh, that uh, Harley Harley caught and they said he was out of play and then he got up and get the hit. Yep. Yep, the, and, and you couldn't tell from the video that I, that they was all over uh, all over the in, in, in the social media where it looked like he might have two feet in bounds, and the umpire said no. Now but that's why you also play your 21 outs. Exactly right. Just bring up Nico Dunn. He struck out his first time up. Two outs, runners on first and second. National with a 4-1 lead here in the Andrew Classman game. Just got under that. Just got under that. He saw he was waiting on that curve too, Coach. And a snag by the first baseman. I believe that was Shannon from Madison. So they'll pick up a run. So we'll have two innings in the books. We'll play nine today. Our score, the National All-Stars four, four, the American one. We'll be back. Right after this, live on the Morris Sports Network.
Mobile service, this is Amanda speaking. How may I help you? Turn your living room into a waiting room with Mercedes Benz of Paramus Mobile Service. The same quality and care you'd expect right at your home or office. Shop for tires from all the major brands on our online store. Have them installed by a factory trained technician when and where it's convenient for you. Mercedes Benz of Paramus has you covered. Book your mobile service appointment today. Call or go online at MercedesBenzParamus.com. WIS gives me the freedom to be entrepreneurial, innovative. I feel supported to bring 100% of myself and my personality to work each and every day. I'm the CEO of WIS Family Office. I have two amazing children. I'm the daughter of French and Italian immigrants. Above all, I'm someone who derives strength and confidence from my ability to connect with others, and I strive to make a difference in their lives. A certified pre-owned Mercedes-Benz from Mercedes-Benz of Paramus is a lot like a new Mercedes-Benz. It's irresistible in every way, including the price. We have over 200 pre-owned vehicles to choose from. Plus, every certified pre-owned comes with factory-backed warranties and coverage to keep your vehicle operating. And we're back here live on the Morris Sussex Sports Network, the NJAC Underclassman game here at FDU Florham Park. Dan Cleary along with the game organizer and... Mr. Morris County Baseball, in my opinion, Jim McDermott. And coming in to pitch right now is Jake Harris from Par Hills. 41 innings pitched, 36 Ks. He had four wins. He had two complete games. He's got a strong fastball curve and change. And when he bats, he hit 275. But, Coach, we were talking between innings. You've seen this young man throw. Give us a little scouting report. He, he threw against us uh, early in the year and carved us up. You know, uh, he's got the tutelage of uh, Ryan Casey, his pitching coach, who uh, I had the pleasure of working with for five years at Mount Olive. And he's a, you know, Ryan Casey clone. He's going to throw two seamers with a little bit of run inside, a change up, and really good command. And uh, he's, he's going to be all right. I, I like the way he throws. He competes. He's a tough kid. And uh, I think it'll be a good challenge for him. Instead, he's going to get some of, these, some of these batters at the top of the lineup for, uh, for the American. Well, Jake Klein will come up, the catcher for Vernon. He reached on an infield single to start things off. Coach, I've gotten to see Klein play a couple times this year and sometimes last year. He's a top-notch defensive catcher, and the bat is now coming along with the defense. Yeah, and uh, I, had, I had heard that again. Uh, you know, Vernon is the only team that we kind of crossed the uh, divisional lines with uh, when they had these two players. And they have a, another pitcher that unfortunately just couldn't break into what we had in the game right now, another quality arm that's coming back for them next year. Rob Nathan. Yes. Nathan threw a great game, eight innings, one of them shut out to beat Jefferson. And then to Jefferson's credit, four days later, they beat Vernon 6-5 to get a share of the Freedom Division title. Big swing and a miss by Klein. And with these guys throwing one inning, they're going to leave it all out there. They're, they're going to be nothing left in the tank here. Fouled away by Klein. You were saying Coach Trotter's out at the uh, College World Series, right? Yes, he's out there seeing his uh, one of his protégés, Mr. Finley, throw. And uh, actually yesterday he sent me a picture of him and uh, Coach Bello, formerly of Pope John, yes, out there together watching their son, watching his son play. Grounded a second. First out of the inning. I got to see Vinny's kid play when he was real young. And you could tell as a 6th or 7th grader he was going to be something special. And matter of fact, he was amazing at football. But they knew then, you go out and play football, blow out a knee, don't want to lose that football, that high uh, baseball career. So uh, he's just a special player. And I think he has a really good fit down there at Auburn. Mm -hmm. You know, Carl Monomaker uh, Bruce yeah. uh, played for Bruce Chattel. Right, at Roxbury. At, at Roxbury and stuff, and he's the recruiting co coordinator down at Auburn, and he, uh, he got up on him really quick and, and liked what he saw, and I think it's a really good fit for him. This is Shannon out of Madison. He bounced into DP his first time up. And we were joking before the game, in a state where you can play baseball maybe, what, five months out of the year if you're lucky? We got guys going to Auburn, going to Notre Dame. Uh, the kid from Roxbury, Ax Axelson, played for uh, Rutgers. They lost in the Big Ten Championship. And uh, my opinion, got snubbed by the NCAA committee. I uh, wholeheartedly agree on that one. School record for wins for the Scarlet Knights. 
Okay, you want to talk about New Jersey le legends, the late, great Freddie Hill. Oh. What a great man. I, I go back to when he, he was coaching at Montclair in the early 80s, and uh, I used to deal with him a little bit, running some summer teams and stuff like that. He did football and baseball. Yes, he did. Rounder up the middle. That's going to be a base hit for Shannon. So the Madison product will get on. I know guys that played football and baseball for him at Paquanic High School. Yeah. And he still remembers them. I, I did a story on Fred late in his career for Garden State Baseball Magazine, and his memory is second to none. He was giving me play-by-play -play -play from games at Paquanic. He's like, we beat Butler one year. I said, wow. Well, I, him and then when I was coaching at Seton Hurley in the early 2000s, we would go down to Miami and – We'd watch Rutgers play on, a, on an off day. We stayed at a hotel across the street from the Miami Stadium in Coral Gables. And he's down there and his wife's down there and cheering him on. And just, you know, baseball true and true. So one out runner on first grounder in the hole. Is that going to find a spot? Long throw, but that'd be an infield single. So runners on first and second. Bring up Derek Lee. Now, you said you've seen him a few times. I've yes. had a few, a few college guys approach me about him. He, he's at short, but maybe his future is at second. He played second last year as a sophomore. But he was great at shortstop. He's got a good arm. He only made four errors and 67 chances. I believe that was A.J. Terry at first. Yes. Yes, it was. So freshman gets on. So Lazier with a chance here with one out. Runner on second. Shannon. He whipped the single to get on. Lazier also the quarterback for Vernon's football team as they had their first winning season in over 10 years. Made the state tournament for the first time in over 10 years. So uh, it's a good bunch of athletes Steve Myron had. A lot of two-way, two-sport uh, players, which used to be the norm, Coach. Everybody oh. played, you played football, basketball, and baseball. Yeah, or, or you did football, wrestling, baseball. Right. You had three-sport people, and they're very, very few. Mm -hmm. I, I, I know people want to specialize, but, boy, three-sport athletes. I know as you as a former college coach, you love coaching three-sport oh. kids. Oh, th two-sport, three-sport, because you're not always going to be the best athlete in every sport. Right. You handle adversity, okay? And I think as a, as a coach, a college coach, you go out and you watch kids play. Like, I would never tell kids when I was coming to watch them because I wanted to see how they would react, whether it's positive or negative. But what are they going to do if somebody boots a ball? Or, right. You know, how are you going to be? And then, you know, I, I think one time in my career, there was a boy I went to see. I didn't no, tell him no, I was no, there, and he flipped no, out. And no. I ended up having a tough conversation with him earlier in the week, later in the week, just saying, unfortunately, I don't think you fit the bill of what we're looking for. And then he found out I went at the game, and he was so apologetic. But that's the real you. This is Harley with the bases loaded, one out from Del Barton. He's going to take that high. He flew out to left his first time up. So it's a good opportunity here to pick up some ribbies. We're in the top of the third. Checked it. Did he go? Good. So he did. Harris ready to deal. That'll be inside. So we were talking before about Del Barton winning the Morris County title. There's, there's no better high school baseball tournament than Morris County tournament. Just the, everyone comes out for it. It's just, a, it's a great tournament. And I, I know that there's, there's rumblings about trying to move the finals here or even the semifinals, you know, to get it in this type of mm -hmm. setting. I know some people are like, oh, it's got to be under the lights. But if you play this on a Sunday afternoon, I, you'll get people all no over the doubt. place here. You know, beautiful setting. You don't have to worry about weather and field conditions. 3-1 pitch. Nope. 2-2, two, two, excuse me. Now 
I agree with that. I, whenever you play, there's going to be a crowd. I don't think that's going to hurt the game. So 3-2 pitch, one out, bases loaded. Farley in there. He's going to sky it foul. That'll be out of play. Think about the kids that have pitched recently in that Morris County Championship. Leiter, Finley. Stain. Stain. Connor <laughs> Stain from West yep. Morris is going to mm -hmm. be a very high draft pick. Yes, he is. Going to get under it. Drifting back, the first baseman is going to squeeze it for the second out of the inning. Yeah, Connor, I guess, threw pretty well the other day at the uh, MLB Combine. And uh, early in the year, I know he hit 98 in, a, in one of his starts, and people were just raving about him. I think he had a, a, a problem with a blister in the middle part of the season, so his innings were limited a little bit. But, you know, a big, strong kid at 6'5", throws the heck out of the ball. You know, he has a really, really bright, bright future ahead of him. And, you know, he goes out and loses, what, one nothing, and Volpe hits a home run. Right, Volpe hits a home run, right. This brings up Jenks from Chatham. He walked and scored. At a, an another place I worked at, we uh, covered Morris County, and Volpe was a sophomore, and I said, who do you, and Papatonis had yeah. been injured. And I asked Bruce, I said, who's your MVP? He goes, Volpe, I go, the sophomore. He goes, yeah, so we'll, we'll go cover a game. Um, they played down at Lyndhurst. I'm trying to get a member of Bergen Catholic they were playing or someone down there. And Volpe hit a blast as a sophomore. And then Papatonis had been but he was running on one leg, and they, they ended up winning the game, Del Bar. And they, they played Pope John, beat them. That's who it was. So Vinny Bello was saying to me, he goes, Papatonis on one leg got us. <laughs> 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 but Volpe was a sophomore that year. Pop Tillis, I think, ended up going to Virginia. Yes. And I think he had a little brother, a younger brother, yes. who played at, at, at uh, and, and was a pretty good fo uh, running oh, back and football right. player as well at Del Bar. Yep, Pop Tillis brothers. Volpe is people that, if you're watching this game, you know who Anthony Volpe yeah. is. So we don't have to explain to the folks at home who he is. So Jenks has the bags loaded. He's ahead of the count 2-1. Foul the way. And we, we were just talking recent history. I mean, Morris County goes all the way back. I remember the, the great umpire Mark Schulte. Yes. He, he played with Richie Zisk right. and they, in and Parsippany. They, and they say there was a kid, was it Kyle or Pyle, was better than Richie Zisk, but yes. injured himself in a motorcycle accident. And I'll go back even – you know, when I was young, a, a youngster playing in the Morris Majors, we would play Newton, and they would have Dougie Cron. Doug Cron was a oh, monster. Was, it, was he a state heavyweight wrestler? State champion? heavyweight champ. Yeah. You know, and you play, you know, Woody Keys and Sonny Holt and Sofield from Morristown. Heels, and that's going to be a base hit. One run will come in, possibly two. Throw will come in. They'll try to cut it, but that'll be a two-run single for Jenks. Nice job by Trent Jenks. Leisure will hold it second. And two RBI singles for Jenks. That'll bring up Richter from Roxbury. I think he doubled down the line yes, last time. Yes, he did. Time. Ripped it right down the line. So American team making a little comeback here. Of course, two, two, excuse me, scoring two here in the top. Of the third. Big swing and a miss by Richter. And uh, the, the kid that played at Parsippany played for the Mets and oh, uh, Joey Orsalak. Joey Orsalak. And, and uh, somebody that I coach with right now at Mount Ol at West Morris, and he was at Mount Olive with me, was a great at Mount Olive, Paul Atavinia. Absolutely. His dad, George, was an amazing softball coach at Mount Olive. Field oh, yeah. named after George. Mm -hmm. I got to, when I went when I called your game against him. It was great catching up with George. Hadn't seen him in years. That'll be low. You know, Paul loves the game. He coached at Randolph for a while. Then he came over with Ryan Casey and coached with me at Mount Olive for a while. And then now he came down to West Morris, where he lives. He says, you know, he has two sons that are going to work their way up through the little league system there. So he wants to stay involved. 
That's a shot out to the gap in left. That's going to get in there for Richter. He's going to have two doubles. One run will come in. Here comes the second run. That might be a triple. Richter's got some wheels, and he's going to get in there with a two-run triple for Richter. Wow. So a good inning here. Jenks with a two-run double, and Richter with a two-run triple. And America will take the lead 5-4. This should be Watson. And he gets a line shot, and that'd be squeezed. So they'll get out of the inning, but a good one for the American squad as they'll put up four runs. They'll take a 5 4 lead as we head to the bottom of the third here live on the Morris Sussex Sports Network. Mercedes-Benz. So expect nothing less from a Mercedes-Benz dealership. When choosing a certified pre owned Mercedes-Benz, choose Mercedes-Benz of Paramus. For all of the perks that come with working here, I would say that the most valuable thing WIS offers is freedom. The freedom to make the most of your role, to really go beyond the job description, the freedom to think differently and be rewarded for it, and the freedom to show up as 100% who you are. Hey, don't you just love it when more Sussex Sports broadcast your games? Or do you prefer a silent motion detecting camera just following the movement on the court? Let's face it, the only real way to watch your favorite team is through Morris Sussex Sports award-winning service that brings you play-by-play -play commentary, live instant replays, cool cinematic graphics, real-time scoreboard, fun fan engagement, and much, much more. Plus, all of our broadcasts are free to watch. Grandparents can easily pull it up on their smart TVs, and alumni can watch from all over the world. So if you want to reserve us, have your games broadcasted the Morris Sussex Sports way, then just reach out to me, George Muha, at george at morrisessexsports.com, or call or text me at 973-713-5944. Back here at FDU Florham Park and Jack Underclassman game. Dan Cleary along with game organiz organizer Jim McDermott. And Jim, uh, just let people know who helped out with this, getting this game on financially for us. Well, for us, you know, our, our lead sponsor for the broadcast is uh, 1776 by David Burke. And it's also Top Golf in Morristown, a lovely restaurant run by an FDU alum, Chance Healy, his partner's in there. And they, uh, they picked up the tab for the broadcast rights. And then I also have Destination Athlete who uh, does sporting apparel for colleges and high schools. And that's Kevin Henley Jr. Uh, he does the FDU apparel, and I know he does ours at West Morris as well, and a few other schools. And uh, where we meet to do our picking of the team, we go to Davies Dogs, uh, Davy Ferrara. Great place. Uh, great, really good food, good hot dogs and, and, and stuff in general. But Davey played for me back in the Morris Majors in the 80s and stuff, and is a baseball junkie. And uh, he said, you know what, I, I'll sponsor. I like that. He goes, you guys come in here and talk to us all the time. He goes, I can talk baseball all day. Let's bring up Ben Nugent. Simone popped up the first from Morris Knowles. And on the hill, Aiden Dill. Let's talk about him. Well, a Aiden's a, is a two-way kid. Uh, he pitched against us in the county tournament uh, when I was at West Morris this year and threw the ball really well. I was really impressed with his composure on the mound. He would take a walk off the backside if anything happened. Knew what he was doing, has that nice lefty change that fades away from the righties, you know, in total command. And then I guess in the county finals, he threw a two-hitter. And uh, he's just gotten better and better. And I think he has a real future as a two-way guy. He's going to play first base the second half of the game. Two-hitter with nine strikeouts, 5 nothing win over Randolph. On the season, 6-1, and one, a 1.53 ERA MVP of the Morris County Tournament. He allowed only two hits in that game, one walk, and a 5 nothing victory in there. Continuing that long line of great players at Del Barton. Nugent swinging a miss. So a quick two outs for Mr. Dill. And this will bring up Ake from uh, Dover. He struck out his last time up. So we might see a quick appearance from Mr. Yeah. Dill. <laughs> We 
here in the bottom of the third. And we're going to let Coach McDermott run after this bottom half of the inning. We can't thank him enough for organizing this game, helping us out with the sponsors, and talking some Morris County baseball with us for three innings. We could do this all day. Like, we should do this again at Davies and just put a, a, a camera on us. That, go to uh, Davies Hot Dogs and do a three-hour show on Morris County Baseball. That's my with Morris, Sussex, and Warren. We, yeah, we absolutely. Meet there. We could do it. Well, I'll have to get George Muha on that. Fouled away. So, 5-4. And with the good pitching, a little surprised with all these runs. What are your thoughts? I, I'm, I'm surprised as well. But I'm also thinking, look at the kids that are hitting. Right. You know, and <laughs> there are some, some balls that have been squared up against some really good pitching. Just outside, a little waste pitch there. Good job by Jordan not to go after it here in the bottom of the third. 5-4 score, the American squad with the lead. Playing nine innings today. Stayed alive. And Mark Rizzi and Eric Mandrabo. Nick Berg, Steve Myron, Kyle Murphy, uh, Kyle Murphy, all your coaches today. Did you go against Coach Rizzi when you were at college coaching F FDU? Well, he was at Rutgers Newark, correct? No, no, I did not, but I recruited a boy to come play for me here at FDU when Coach Rizzi was the head coach at DePaul High School back like in 1989. There you go. And they played at Hinchcliffe Stadium. Oh, my gosh, in Patterson. In Patterson, I went, and that's where I first met Coach Rizzi, and we've you know known each other for you know 30-plus years. Well, a great baseball guy, as you as are you, Coach McDermott. I, again, can't thank you enough for setting this game up and helping us with the sponsors and coming on and talking some baseball for three innings. We appreciate it, Coach. Go enjoy the game. Thank you very much. All right, everyone. That's Jim McDermott. And our score, 5-4. We're going to head to the top of the fourth right after this, live on the Morris Sussex Sports Network. Mercedes-Benz of Paramus. From the inside to the outside, we have it all. A top-of-the-line showroom and lounge. The finest luxury cars, SUVs, and certified pre-owned, too. A used car center. All makes and models in a wide range of prices. Choose between our on-site service center or we'll come to you. Here, our sales team makes your complete satisfaction their number one goal. Stand out in a vehicle from Mercedes-Benz of Paramus. Hi, hey, Jason. What's up? Hi, Mr. Boone. We just finished servicing your vehicle. Nice. We replaced your windshield wipers, changed your cabin air filter, and topped off your windshield wiper fluid. Wow, thanks, Jason. Is there anything you guys can't do? When it comes to regular maintenance, we can do almost everything right in your driveway. Whether you're at home or at the office, Mercedes-Benz of Paramus Mobile Service will give your vehicle the care it needs without interrupting your day, no matter the make or model. Call or visit MercedesBenzParamus.com to schedule your appointment today. I actually used to be deathly afraid of public... And we're back here at FDU Florham Park. The NJAC underclassman game. Been a good one. 5-4 score the American team with the lead. And coming in to pitch from Mount Olive is Connor Ramsey, the junior. 55 in the third innings. 29 hits, 14 earned runs, 33 walks, 75 Ks, a 1.77 ERA and a 1.12 whip. So he will face... As the field players will go four and a half innings, so it'll be the last time these guys will be on the field, and then we'll switch everybody around, which is good. And again, want to thank Jim McDermott and all the sponsors, Davies Hot Dogs, 1776, and Destination Athlete. And going to bring in our, our third guy today, Nick Federico, who's been doing a great job giving you the shots. Nick, your thoughts on what you've seen in this All-Star game? Hello, Dan. We've seen it all, really. We've seen, a lot of, we've seen a lot of runs scored. We've seen some good pitching. We've seen a lot here as James Cleveland's coming up to the plate. And I'm very disappointed we're not seeing him on the mound today. Well, he's, he, uh, Coach explained that he's, he's pitching in a showcase tomorrow. Yep. And some big-time scouts are going to be there, so that's where he needs to do it. But he can do it all. You got to see him throw in the... Uh, Morris County Championship game. Yep, as, as I saw Aiden Dill, as he pitched a really good last half of the inning there. Really good pitching matchup in that game. It's it, that was really It was really one for the ages, you know. Uh, Randolph, uh, an ascending powerhouse in, in, Morris, in, in the area, and then, of course, the storied history of Del Bar in baseball, we know. Fouled away. I was saying to Coach McDermott, are you surprised with the offense so far? But all this great pitching. I think Coach made a really made a really good point. Actually, I mean, it, this is a selected All Star game for a reason. So I, I really, I'm really not surprised, Dan, because there's a lot of high average hitters in this game for sure. 
Great curve there from Ramsey. Again, they share the national division with West Morris, did Mount Olive. We talked about Pete Sokolo, a great player and former pro, got up and played with the Brewers, coaching Mount Olive. Great new facility they just put up there in Mount Olive. You've been there uh, a couple of times. We've been gorgeous. there a couple of times. And also a really good program as well overall. Chopper, third base, Simone will gobble it up. He'll head over the first, and they'll get the first out of the inning. And for the third time, we'll see Jake Klein from Vernon. So we had our little uh, Jefferson uh, Vernon match up there in the in the top of the first inning. Then a little Jake Capera. Yes, it was nice to see. We've seen Jefferson and Vernon do some battle over the over the baseball season here on Morris Sports. Absolutely, tri champs with High Point in the Freedom Division. We saw Rob Nathan throw a eight hit, uh, excuse me, eight inning, one nothing shutout, and then four days later, Jefferson battled back with a six five win to get a piece of that title. Second year in a row, Jefferson won the title. Jason Kalish has done a great job that Jefferson program. You know, you go back to Mike Yonko when he coached there. B.J. Howe, Jason Clevis. And a good job there by Klein. He's going to get his second hit. Square that up nicely. And like you mentioned before, Dan, when Coach was on with you, that you know, Klein's been really good behind the plate defensively, and now that bat's catching up, he's really becoming an all-purpose catcher and still being an underclassman, still a lot of room to grow. Shannon, one for two. He singled his last time up and scored. Outside. And Klein, we saw him. He doesn't get a courtesy runner. He's got good wheels for a catcher. He's a good athlete. The outside. Got the Mount Olive uh, catcher-pitcher duo here. I believe that's the first time we've seen that today. Yep, a JT Abrushi and Connor Ramsey. It's always nice even in an all-star game to throw to somebody you're, you're familiar with, of course. Absolutely. Coach made that point. You know, one guy's slider you might call for it breaks differently than someone else's, and if you haven't caught them before, it could be a little hectic behind a dish. With one out here. And Shannon's going to draw a walk. Runners on first and second. And let's bring up the freshman, Terry. The only freshman playing in the game today. He had an infield single, and he scored his last time up. That's really got to tell you something, Dan. A.J. Terry, only a freshman, the only one in this game. Potentials through the roof for Randolph as the whole as a program, but A.J. Terry going to be a core player going Still forward. He's going to bounce away. Klein will advance to third. Shannon will hold it first. Well, Randolph, a great baseball program over the years. Coach Rizzi coming in a few years ago, continuing that tradition. I was lucky enough, a few years back, I want to say about five, six years ago, Randolph played Union City in the North 1 Group 4 final. I was able to go cover that. And they played at Union City, and the baseball field is on top of the high school. And there's all netting all around there. And the background, the hitting eyes, <laughs> all the, the skyscrapers in New York City. Wow. It's just a phenomenal place to see a game. And once the other teams get used to it, it's fine. But when you walk in there, I mean, you're going up to the top of the, the, top of the building to play yeah, baseball. Absolutely. Just doesn't seem right. <laughs> Could be kind of intimidating, too, at first. Yeah, and, like, oh. and the Randolph kids, they did a great job. And they, I, if my memory holds right, they won the game. That was around 2016 and another walk. So that'll load the bases for Derek Lazier. Now batting, Derek Lazier. So Lazier last time up, he got hit by a pitch and he scored. <laughs> a chance here with one out. Take a strike. He didn't like that call. 5 4 our score. Dan cool. Cleary along with Nick Federico. Thanks for joining us live on the Morris Sussex Sports Network. Ramsey deals a pie. 
Again, we'll play nine innings today. <coughs> and after this inning, we'll see a, a completely different lineup for both teams. Laser ground ball, that's going to stay fair. One run will come in. Second run will come in. Laser will get a double. Will they send the third runner? No, second and third. Nice piece of hitting there by Laser, just up the first base line. First baseman unable, unable to get to it. Brings in two runs. And Vernon Jr. with the double down the right field line. Just hugging inside first base. And this will bring up Harley from Del Barton. Harley flew out to left. And popped up the first. He's over two, so this guy, the way he can swing the bat, he is overdue. But runners on second and third. 7-4 our score. Two runs come across on the laser double. Harley played a huge role in Del Barton's success this season, leading to that Morris County Championship that we've talked about, of course. 2-0 our count. And correct me if I'm wrong, Dan, you said that they lost to Don Bosco in kind of a controversial fashion? Yes. Extra innings. Are they going to send the runner? Runner's going to come, throw home, and just in time he gets in there safe. But a great throw from center field by Josh Brancy from Sparta. That would be a sack fly for Harley. Nice speed on the bag there by A.J. Terry. Now batting Trent James. Tagging that up. Second out of the inning. Terry scores. Yeah, uh, there was a foul ball in dead, ter dead ball territory, and you couldn't tell if he was in dead ball or not. It was very tough. The umpire said he was, and that gave the Don Bosco batter enough swing, and he got the game-winning hit. So this will bring up Trent Jenks. He had a big two-run single last time up. Nice 68-mile-an-hour off-speed pitch right on the outside part of the plate there. So, after a slow start, the American squad putting up some crooked numbers the last two innings. Jenks gets jammed. Plays for Coach Leathers at Chatham. Chatham in that killer American division with Del Barton, Pope John, Monville, Randolph, Chatham, Roxbury, and Morristown. Wow. Yikes. Wow. Strap it on when you're playing with those guys. Get ready to play. Still uh, should be two outs. Yes, two outs. Wild pitch. Runner will go to third. Leisure. Jenks looking to add to his hit total here. Pick up a couple of RBIs last time he was up. Ramsey trying to get out of this inning. Beautiful ballpark here, too, Dan. It's oh, my first time it? here. It's very it's awesome. Very nice. My first time since they redid it. I totally understand why they would want to move the Morris County tournament games here. Ramsey gets a big swing and a miss, and that's going to end the inning. But three more runs will come in, and our score after three and a half innings of play, 8-4 American over National. We'll be back here live on the Morris Sussex Sports Network. Perfect teaching tax, and I also became a Zumba instructor as a way of overcoming this fear of mine. They're both forms of leading and teaching in their own right. Bottom line though, WISP supports my passions. I truly believe that WISP wants me to be the best version of myself, and it's such an amazing feeling that I truly have the freedom to do that here. I enjoy helping nonprofits achieve their goals and really accomplish their mission namely by nurturing my relationship with them, their staff, their donors, their volunteers, and their board members. I think the key to being trusted is really transparency. What I've seen time and time again is that when you give anything the right conditions, the support, the autonomy, trust, your full attention, it will thrive. This is as true for my clients and for my colleagues as it is for myself here at WISC. Thank you for calling Mercedes-Benz of Paramus Mobile Service. This is Amanda speaking. How may I help you? Turn your living room into a waiting room. And we're back here at FDU Florham Park, live on the Morris Sussex Sports Network and Jack Underclassman game. Again, thank, want to thank Davies Hot Dogs, 
located there on Howard Boulevard. Great place to go. 1776 in Morristown, a great top-notch restaurant. I want to thank Destination Athlete as well. Contact Kevin Henley Jr. at 908-500-0685. Or go to Kevin Henley at DestinationAthlete.com for all your one-stop shopping. And on the mound will be Anthony Bubba from Pope John, the junior right-hander, 42 innings pitch, 26 hits, 14 runs, 11 earned, 17 walks, 42 strikeouts at 1.83 ERA. And this will bring up Aiden Mitchell from High Point. Mitchell will hit by a pitch and scored. And we go to the bottom of the fourth. And a nice job there by Bubba as Mitchell goes down swinging for the first out of the inning. Bubba doesn't waste any time there on the mound, Dan. It's get the ball back and hurl it. He, I think the second or second or third pitch hit an 83 on the radar gun down here. He doesn't waste any time there on the mound. This is Josh Brancy from Sparta. Pitching like he's double parked, Nick. <laughs> Well, there were a couple of people that were double parked. I hope this they moved their sure. car. Hopefully they did move their cars. As a guy playing behind him, you'd love that. Yes. When you get guys fiddling around out there, that drive you nuts as a field. Yep. Get the ball and go. He's pitching like there's a clock. Yeah. I wonder if he's out of breath. He's probably not because he's an athlete. No, yeah, not at all. Well, here it comes. Here it goes. And Brancy's going to go the other way in an 0-2 pitch and get a single. What a future this young man has in either football or baseball. A great player for Frank Marciano. Sparta, traditional power in Sussex County. He's the MVP the last two years as a freshman and a sophomore. And speaking about unbelievable potential, University of Virginia commit Luke Dickerson up. Now we've seen Dickerson up close and personal this season, Dan. We mentioned we saw him a couple weeks ago in that finale, regular, uh, regular season finale, excuse me, against Morris, uh, Morris Hills. That was quite the showing that they had. Yeah, put a lot, about five homers out that day. Dickerson hit a triple to dead center and drove in a run and scored a run. Runner goes, the throw down is in time. Jake Klein erases the runner with the caught stealing. We'll be proud of that one, Dan. That was a great throw there from behind the plate. We mentioned how Klein's been great defensively all year for the Vikings. and There's exhibit number, there's exhibit A. Let's take a look at that. Saw it coming, backhands it. Sends down a seed and gets it during the regular season. Nine of 14 runners he caught. So Klein showing that good arm. So Dickerson's still in the batter's box. We talked about the triple he hit, and then he popped up. So two outs here in the bottom of the fourth. Dickerson stays alive. Going to University of Virginia. Just a sophomore. So Bubba helped out by his catcher from Vernon. Little chopper to the short. Terry gobbles it up. Oh, and a first. And safe. Dickerson showing the wheels. Good job by Dickerson. Just putting his head down, focusing on putting his head down and running to first base. Good job there beating it out. Now back, Nick Shewitt. Power hitter from Mountain Lakes. Shewitt had an RBI double his last time up. But Dickerson got wheels because Terry's got a sh very strong arm. And we'll see if they think they'll test Klein again. Saw Mountain Lakes up close and personal in their round one game against Booten. Had a little 45-minute rain delay that day. And they got caught him leaning, but that'll go to pass the good thought, but the execution off. Dickerson thinking about third, He's and going. he will take third. And he'll be safe. Nice heads up base running there by Dickerson. So he'll go to third on the E1 on the pickoff attempt. They had him. And boy, did he show some wheels there. That's just good baseball IQ there. It was far enough. He was like, okay, we're going. It's an all-star game. Might as well show the wheels. He was leaning. And they had the right thought. So he'll be sitting at third for Shewitt. He's going to hit one to the hole. Terry gets to it. Long throw to first, and he gets him. That will end the inning. Good job by Terry, the freshman. So we'll go through four innings of play here at FDU Florham Park. NJAC, the underclassman all-star game. Our score, American 8, National 4. We'll be back with the top of the fifth right after this, live on the Morris Sussex Sports Network. 
the same quality and care you'd expect right at your home or office. Shop for tires from all the major brands on our online store. Have them installed by a factory trained technician when and where it's convenient for you. Mercedes-Benz of Paramus has you covered. Book your mobile service appointment today. Call or go online at mercedesbenzparamus.com. WIS gives me the freedom to be entrepreneurial innovative. I feel supported to bring 100% of myself and my personality to work each and every day. I'm the CEO of WIS Family Office. I have two amazing children. I'm the daughter of French and Italian immigrants. Above all, I'm someone who derives strength and confidence from my ability to connect with others, and I strive to make a difference in their lives. A certified pre-owned Mercedes-Benz from Mercedes-Benz of Paramus is a lot like a new Mercedes-Benz. It's irresistible in every way, including the price. We have over 200 pre-owned vehicles to choose from. Plus, every certified pre-owned comes with factory-backed warranties and coverage to keep your vehicle operating at its best. You expect nothing less from Mercedes-Benz, so expect nothing less from a Mercedes-Benz dealership. When choosing a certified pre-owned Mercedes-Benz, choose Mercedes-Benz. For all of the perks that come with working here, I would say. And we're back here live on the Morris Sussex Sports Network. As we head to the top of the fifth, pitching is Ryan Iver, junior from Morris Knowles. 39 innings pitch, 58 Ks, a 3.05 ERA. Big guy, nice lefty delivery. Had a nice season for Coach Mendrebo. I don't think we saw him pitch, Nick, against Morris Hills. No, I don't think we did. I think uh, you know, Morris Knowles was in a position where they were up a lot of runs. They didn't they didn't want to use too many of their arms either because they were going into states the, the next couple that days after that That is absolutely correct. He pitched against Garfield the next day. They lost a heartbreaker to yep. the Boilermakers. So we'll go to the top of the fifth. And Iver will be on the mound. 8-4 game. So lefty against lefty here. Inside. Hit 80 on the radar gun inside. So Colin Richter is up. Richter had a big hit before. Richter had that triple. He showed those wheels, Nick, when he flew around the bag. Yep. Drove in two runs with that. Up high. That great Roxbury program year after year. You go back to the 90s with Bruce Chattel and what Greg Trotter's done there. And also, correct me if I'm wrong, Dan, uh, Roxbury softball's winning the state championship. Yes, they did. Great job there. Haley Eric Cello, terrific sophomore pitcher for them. The Faisal sisters. Maddie Spegginson, great year for the Gales, who lost the heartbreaker in the Morris County Championship game to Monville. With Caitlin Olenski, who's going to go to Nebraska, just a junior. A 3-2 count on Richter. We said had that big triple last time up. And he's going to draw a walk. So he'll go to first. Now batting Connor, Watson. Connor Watson out of Morristown. He flew out to left field. His is the first time up, or last time up, I should say. The Morristown Airport right around the corner. There's a fly ball out to right. And squeezing it for the out. That's Nugent. So first out of the inning. And also right across the street from uh, FDU, the home of my beloved New York Jets. Ah. Got a little little city field, old Shea Stadium field with the yeah. planes flying by here at FDU. <laughs> and it's James Claver from Randolph, the big guy. He's not pitching today. We, we documented that. He's a great pitcher. He's going to be in a showcase tomorrow, so he'll be doing that. Where is that showcase, Dan? Is that here? I'm not sure. Coach McDermott had mentioned it. Hmm. Runner goes. And... Goes in there, standing up. The Richter with the stolen base. Yeah, Coach did mention that 
Cleveland was part of the Morris County Cubs showcase last week. Hitting high 90s on the mound there. He's very impressive on the mound. I wrote that over-the-top style. You don't see the ball come out of his hand until late. Richter on second. 8-4 our score. Inside. Hey, for all you fans that are on the western side of the county, get over to Davies Hot Dogs. Love that place over there on Howard Boulevard, right off Route 80. That's where they meet to have the selection. The committee meets there, and they're part of the sponsorship of the game, working a walk. So stop at Davies Hot Dogs. Great place. That's on my way home, Danny. I guess where I, I guess where I'm going. Uh, there. You better be. Heck yeah. <laughs> So this will be John Venaria, the catcher. He'll be filling in for Klein, getting his first at bat. John hit 273, 24 hits, 11 runs scored. Former third baseman converted to catcher, got a catching coach, and has done a great job for Pequonic. Did he do that over one off season? I wonder. Making the switch from he, third he base started, to catcher. He started it last year, Coach McBurney said. Gotcha. Definitely not an easy transition. No. Especially this late in high school. And he volunteered to catch. They needed a catcher, and he really? jumped in there. The ultimate teammate. Absolutely. Got to love it. And that's what college coaches love. Versatile guys willing to do things to, be the, to help the team be better. You see so many of these guys, even in the pros, even at the college level. If you're a utility guy, you're an asset to your team. Big swing and a miss. And keeping along with the Morris County thing, former CCM player Joe McEwing made a pretty decent career in the major leagues, played for the Mets, one of his stops as a utility guy, played for CCM. Runner goes, and it'll be bounced in. Good job by Abruzzi now letting that go back to the backstop because that could have been a run. Cleveland taking second, so both runners now in scoring position. So Venaria, he'll go behind the plate after the next half inning. And the American team with the four-run lead, looking to add. And he gets a hold of that deep center. And getting back there, nice job making the catch. Runner will score. So sack fly for Venaria. Second out of the inning. It'll be another run, 9-4. I believe that was Brancy again out there. Such a great athlete. Yep. And speaking of great athletes, Aiden Dill, the MVP of the Morris County Tournament. He'll step up. He popped up to third last time up. Let me double check on that. Inside. One run comes across. Going back to that Morris County game, Dan, I mean, just absolutely blown away with how Aiden Dill pitched in that game. The two-hit shutout against against Randolph. Just a, just a great outing for him, and he's got a bright future as well. And that hit, that caught him. It yeah, caught him on the elbow. And this would be Mac Tufts, sophomore, hit 354. Now batting Mac. 494 slugging, 27 runs, 11 RBIs, two doubles, three homers, 16 stolen bases. Helping out Coach Bierman his first year, replacing the great Vinny Bello, who was coaching down in Florida, and also watching his son, Michael, the great player at Auburn. Vinny had a great career with the Pope John Lions, always had them in the hunt. So first and third, two outs. Iber trying to get out of this inning. Tufts trying to continue it. Runner goes, and he gets a hold of that one. That's going to catch the gap. You know, we'll go over the left fielder's head. Two runs will score. And a two-run double for Tufts. Nice job by Tufts. First time up at bat. 
<laughs> he rips the two-run double. It's not easy to do, just coming right off the bench, you know, not having played for four and a half innings here, but a good job by him. So will bring up Joe Sabbath, the junior at Aquatic, 425, 34 hits. He usually bats third or fourth. 15 RBIs, also pitched for the Golden Panthers. Runner goes, and that'll be good job saving a run right there. Simone. And Morris Knowles in good hands with Simone at third and Dickerson at short for the next couple of years. How about that, huh? Coach Mendrabo, very pleased about that. So the American has pushed across three. They're up 11-4. I were trying to get out of this. 3-0 count. Here in the top of the fifth, another crooked inning for the American squad. And that's going to be on the inside corner for a strike. Throwing a little break stuff down 3-0 in the count. 73 on the inside part of the plate, the pitch. That's a lot of confidence. Down 3-0 on the count, but the game's changed. And that'll be high for a walk. So Sabbath will draw the walk. Tufts remains at third. And Ford will come up from now batting Justin Ford. Roxbury. Justin Ford hit 459, 39 of 85, 18 runs, 29 RBIs, 12 stolen bases, 10 doubles, 2 triples, and 3 dingers. Not a bad season. No, not at all. <laughs> and also one of the best pitchers around. He pitched earlier in the game. So runners on the corners. Two outs here in the top of the fifth. We'll play nine. Ivor deals. And there for a strike. Good pitch there, 73 right on the outside part of the plate. It's a good pitch there. Well, as Coach McDermott said, a lot of college coaches here with their guns, checking everyone's speed. Four to step out. I think Nick was guessing the speeds. He has that kind of mathematical ability. If I did... Uh I would take credit for that, but, uh, you know, <laughs> I see the pitch clock, the pitch clock, uh, the uh, radar gun right below us here, the press box. Another big swing. Iber one strike away from getting out of this after giving up three. Again, Davies Hot Dogs, the place to go, 1776. I want to thank Chance Hilly, former player for Coach McDermott. Great restaurant in Morristown. And destination athlete Ken Kevin Henley Jr. Check them out. What do you like on your hot dog, Dan? I like everything. Everything? I'm one of those everything. guys. Right. Load it up. Just no ketchup. I'm like Dirty Harry. No ketchup <laughs> on my hot dogs. I think that's the only similarity I have to Dirty Harry. <laughs> one two pitch coming from Ibera. And fouled away off his foot. That's going to hurt. Bruzy checking on Ford. And if Coach Strotter's watching this from Omaha, he's going to be all right, Coach. Yeah. <laughs> Roxbury will have a new football coach, Rumus. Coach Rumus will be there. Coach Cosmo LaRusso, the legend at Roxbury, retiring. Four state titles, two at Pequonic, two at Roxbury, one of the best guys you ever want to meet. How Cos many years was he at Roxbury, Dan? Double digits. Wow. Came from Pequonic. I've known Cosmo for about 30 years. Great guy. One, two pitch. Runner goes. Swing, and that's going to be in there for a base hit. So an RBI single for Ford. He kind of hobbles down the first base. Let's see if he stays in. It looks like we're going to have another Roxbury Gale courtesy runner come on. Yeah. For mm. Colin Richter is going to come in to run. I think that's the last we'll see of Ford. No yeah. reason to, to push him. But he gets an RBI single. 
Savage will go to second. Four runs across here in the top of the fifth. And this will be Hunter Force, sophomore from Monville. Can play all sorts of positions and did a great job. 24, 40, 24 for 77. He's going to pop that up. Hit 312, 15 runs and nine RBIs. And they'll squeeze it at first, but another big inning. As four come across for the American team as they'll take a 12-4 lead to the bottom of the fifth here in the NJAC Underclassman Classic, live on the Morris Sussex Sports Network. A certified pre-owned Mercedes-Benz from Mercedes-Benz of Paramus is a lot like a new Mercedes-Benz. It's irresistible in every way, including the price. We have over 200 pre-owned vehicles to choose from. Plus, every certified pre-owned comes with factory-backed warranties and coverage to keep your vehicle operating at its best. You expect nothing less from Mercedes-Benz, so expect nothing less from a Mercedes-Benz dealership. When choosing a certified pre-owned Mercedes-Benz, choose Mercedes-Benz of Paramus. And we're back here live at FDU Florham Park as we head to the bottom of the fifth at the NJAC All-Star and Underclassman All-Star game. Dan Cleary along with Nick Federico. Sean Brother working the board for us, doing a great job as always. We have a new pitcher and coming in to pitch is Toby Smith. He's committed to Elon. Big right-hander. 63 in the third innings, 35 hits, 23 runs, 14 earned, 98 Ks, 26 walks, a 1.55 ERA, playing for the great coach Doug Ware. Part of that Ware family tradition at Hanover Park. He replaced Dave Ben Savage, who unfortunately passed away way too early. And Doug's dad, Wendell, great coach at Hanover Park. They are the first family of Hanover right. Park Jay Athletics. Abruzzi. This will be JT Abruzzi from Mount Olive. Tell you then, Elon's getting a heck of a pitcher in Toby Smith. He's got. He's not afraid to go after batters with a, with his heat. Bruzy to lefty, that's us uh, catch him. Nope, get out of it, little dance there. Bruzy walked, and he also reached on an error, and he's gonna go down swinging. First out of the inning. And so bring up Dunn from Mount Lakes. Nico Dunn. And that one two, one two punch of Smith and Lapinto that Hanover Park has been really beneficial for them this year. No doubt. They got to the section final, lost to a very good Caldwell team. Went to the group two finals two years ago. One out, done. Inside. I want to reach an 85 on the radar gun. Toby's got a long stride off the mound and gets all that power. Did you get a chance to see him pitch this year, Nick? I in did. Person? I did. Uh, I forget who they played. It's escaping me at the moment. Madison, maybe? Yes, yes, it was. And uh, he pitched well. He's, he's like I said, he's a he's a big kid on the mound. And, he, you know, he's got a lot of power coming in from all the way, all the way up. So Smith with one out, got a strikeout, and got under that, but be a can of corn out there in center field. Squeeze, second out of the inning. And this brings up Simone from Morris Knowles. This is a matchup you look forward to. 
Yeah, power and power going out of here. Simone popped up to third last time up. He faced Aiden Dill. I think that was the only one, two, three inning there. <laughs> it was yep, the bottom of third, sure. Aiden Dill kind of cruised right through it. Toby Smith looking to do the same. The American team with a 12-4 lead made up of teams from the American and Liberty plus Vernon from the Freedom. And the National made up of National Freedom and Independence. That team coached by Eric Bindrabo from Morris Knowles and Nick Berg and Morris Catholic and the American team led by Mark Rizzi, the veteran all over baseball in New Jersey. Great guy, Mark Rizzi. Steve Myron, an up-and-coming coach in his third year out of Vernon. Kyle Murphy, another terrific player from Hanover Park, played at Kane, taking over the storied Morristown program. 3-1 count. Chop foul. Well, Pinto, cons I mean, I'm sorry, uh, Toby Smith consistently hitting 85 on the gun right now. He's just going at these batters. Well, when you only get the one inning to pitch, we said before, Coach McDermott and I, don't leave anything in yep, the tank. Absolutely. If I'm a scout watch, and I'm impressed what I'm seeing from Toby Smith in this inning. No doubt. A line shot to second. That's going to get through for a base hit. So Simone with the single to right. Nice stunt job by him. And this will bring up Nugent from now Mount Olive. Nugent. And Nugent struck out his last time up. So Simone gets a hard shot into right field. Just curved away from the second baseman. Little National. Okay, they got off to a great start scoring three runs in that first inning. And since then, only the one run in the second. They've been shut down the last two frames. Nugent, a great job. For the Marauders in the top of that order, helping them share that national division. It's going to be a ground to the first, gobbled up easily, and that will end the inning. Still will get that. Oh, actually, foul ball. Sorry about that, folks. So, Aiden Dill at first base. Had a clean inning to, when he pitched, now playing first base. Got hit by a pitch and scored a run. Throw over. Back in time is Simone. Again, 1776 brings a modern hip to, <clears throat> excuse me, dining experience to Morristown. Please check them out. I want to thank Chance Healy. Runner goes. Throw to second. Not in time. Simone gets the stolen base. The menu with Chef David Burke's specialty dishes, an approachable world-class menu is second to none. Seasonal foods are presented with elevated flair that creates an exciting happening. Place to go, modern dining experience with craft cocktails and superior international wine list. All in a dramatic and beautiful setting. Located right there in Morristown. Again, I want to thank Chance Silly, former player of Jim McDermott's. So 3-2 pitch, runner on second, two outs. Smith ready to deal. And going the other way is Nugent, and that will be foul ball. Giving Chase the left fielder, good hustle. There's Matt Dahl from Del Barton out there in left field. Aiden Dill also put on the first baseman's glove, playing first base over there. Yes, indeed. So as we said, the teams were flip-flop. They'd started already, but the guys out in defense, and then some guys got some at-bats last inning. And that'll be a chopper. Is that going to get through? It will. And they're going to send the runner. The throw home is going to be up the line. No good. Run the scores, and Nugent will go to second on the throw. So Nugent with the single takes second on the throw home. Good base running by Nugent, seeing the throw went wild a little bit to home. Easily takes second, run scores. Hunter Force from Montville with a chuck from right field. Just a little bit up the line. Oh. 
Smith chased the runner back, Nugent. So the two outs will be Jordan Egg from Dover. The deal's outside. Nice pitch on the outside part of the plate, a little speed. Egg struck out his last time up. And good job there by Venera. His first inning behind the plate in relief of Jake Klein, who threw out a runner stealing. Nugent creeps all second. That's going to catch the corner for a strike. Nick, I imagine it's an all star game. And umpires will kind of say, go up swinging, guys. Absolutely. I mean, why not? You're it's an all-star game. Yep, put it all out on the table, Absolutely. right? Absolutely. If the pitchers are doing it, why not do it in the box? And a big swing and a miss, and that'll end the inning. But Nugent will get the RBI single. And they'll get back one of those runs, so they'll trail 12-5. American with the 12-5 lead. Five innings in the books here in the NJAC underclassman all-star game here at FDU Florham Park. And we'll be back with the top of the six right after this, live on the Morris Sussex Sports Network. Ben and Paramus. From the inside to the outside, we have it all. A a A certified pre-owned Mercedes-Benz from Mercedes-Benz of Paramus is a lot like a new Mercedes-Benz. It's irresistible in every... And we're back and taking the hill from West Morris is Sebastian Hull, junior right-hander. Hits between 80 and 85 on the gun. 48 innings pitch, 4-2 record, 2.20 ERA. He beat Dumont in the States. He uh, threw a four-hitter, eight Ks in that win. Again, him and Ecker and the freshman Nick Rotundo did a very nice job on a deep pitching staff for Coach Tom Rindell as they shared the national division with the Mount Olive Marauders. So we'll head to the top of the sixth. Now, pitching for the national team, number 25, Sebastian and Hall. Now batting will be Ian Kaiser from Mount Olive. Oh, excuse me, Montville. So Kaiser pitched earlier. We'll give you his offensive numbers. Coach said best five tool players ever coached. He was 35 for 89, hit 393, 618 slugging, 25 runs, 20 RBIs, two homers, four triples, and six doubles. Coach DeVrigo. Very impressed with this young man, and he gets to get him back next year. That's the thing about all these players in this All-Star game, Dan. This isn't a senior All-Star no. game. Which, and all these kids are coming back for either, well, in one case, an A.J. Terry. He gets three more years at Randolph. Most of these kids are coming back for one or two more years. Whole deal's going the other way, and that's going to be a base hit for Kaiser. Nice opposite field hitting there by Kaiser for sure. No doubt. Now batting Matt this will be Matt Dahl from Del Barton, big part of that championship team we talked about. Matt hit 365, 18 RBIs, seven stolen bases for the Green Wave. 12-5 our score. Again, after a slow start for the American team, boy, they put up some crooked numbers there, Nick. Absolutely. They've scored in every inning but the first inning at that at that point. One in the second, four in the third, three in the fourth, four in the fifth. 
He's back in there. And these offenses, the offenses has been, uh, they've been good today. Number 11, Tanner Bendinger is at first from Sparta. Good lead, though. Kaiser, he's looking, looks like he's ready to go. It's going to be a fly ball to center. Will it drop in? No, good job reading that. And that'll be our first out of the inning. And this looks, this will be John Venaria. Second at bat for him. I like those Pequonic jerseys there, the nice navy blue. Nice, yeah, right? Nice outline on the gold numbers. Matt Fred at short. Fred of High Point. Eden Mitchell made that catch in center field for the Wildcats. Runner really thought about taking off for second on that. Well, Kaiser's been dancing over there yep. his entire time. Just any moment he they, might go. They threw over a couple of times. Takes a good lead, off-speed pitch. Just missed. Good job getting back there. John Scalera at third from Hackettstown. There he goes. And John Rowley, the catcher from West Morris, battery mate. Throw not in time, stolen base for Kaiser. Rowley having a good year for Coach Rondell. Check that Scalera is at second. Get that correct. Old deals in there with the strike. 3 1. Definitely not a lot of strikeouts looking in this game, I'll tell you that, Dan. It's Alex Venitis at third base from Mount Lakes. So three Mount Lakes guys in this game. So great future for Coach Wallace. Guys are on second. 3-2, count, one out. All ready to deal. And that'll be ball four, Venero draw the walk. And this will bring up Jack Harley. Out of Dull Barton. Now batting Jack Harley. Harley had a sack fly RBI his last time up. Hard to believe Jack Harley only a sophomore for Del Barton. He's got a chance for another RBI here. He's going to get it. That's going to split the outfielders. One run will come in. They'll hold the runner at third, and he'll get a double. So Kaiser will come in to score. Venera will go to third. Harley gets himself an RBI double, second RBI of the game. Yeah. Another green wave coming up to, up to the box, and Aiden, Aiden Dill. Yes, indeed. 13-5 well, our score. Only really good job snagging that. One out. Runners on second and third. Harley on second. Venaria on third. Hold deals. Outside snap throw. And back in time is Venaria. A great tradition of Del Barton baseball being continued by these young men. Of course, you mentioned the names before Jack Leiter, Anthony Volpe, all the ones that everybody knows. Rich tradition at Del Barton, for sure. No, no doubt. Outside, three and one. Rolly asked for permission. He will go out and talk to his teammate. And that makes sense because these two know each other. Yeah, absolutely. A catcher from another team, not much you can say except <laughs> for uh, throw strikes. Yeah, get it to my glove, right? essentially. But these guys know what they want to do. So good job by Rowley. Really. 
Joel will step back in. Way ahead in the count. Three run with runners on second and third with one out. Here in the bottom of the six. We'll play nine. Grounded a short. Fredo will gobble it up. Over the first, and that'll be high. One run comes in. So Venera will come in. And Dill showing those wheels. We'll beat it out, get the first. Harley will go to third. Memory serves correct. I think it's the second straight time he was up and just barely beat one out at first. But he's using those great wheels that he has. This should be Tufts from Pope John. Sophomore Mac Tufts. He had a two-run double first time up. First, we talked about that. Yep. Cold off the off the bench, and he ripped the two-bagger to drive in two. So continuing the hit parade, 13 hits for the American club. Outside. Pope John, eight and four, second place in the American division. They finished 16 11 overall, and they always play that great non conference schedule. Vin Bellow saw that years ago. Coach Beerman kept it. That's going to get by. Runners will hold while the runner third will hold. Runner first will advance. So runners on second and third. Kaiser from Montville led off with a single. Got a fly ball. A walk and then another hit. This could be, you see, they get the runner at first. Bouncer. The run will come in on the 4-3 fielder's choice. Great Second out. Great job by the Americans. Just keep adding on here in this inning. Three runs ready across the plate. I guess they're going in some kind of pattern dance. Four, three, four, three. Yeah, so. some, some sort of code going yeah, on there. So it must be. I'm so. have to play the lottery tomorrow with those numbers. <laughs> so if we're going to keep up with that, then the inning might come to an end soon. This is Joe Sabbath from Pequonic. He walked his first time up. So Tufts with an RBI on the 4-3 ground out. Two outs, runner on third is Aiden Dill. Again, I want to thank Destination Athlete. If you're looking to connect with a local company to put your needs as their priority, Destination Athlete is there for you. Please contact Kevin Henley. And that's going to hook foul. Slice foul, I should say. Please contact Kevin Henley at 908-500-0685 or Kevin Henley at DestinationAthlete.com for one-stop shopping. They can handle all your apparel, fundraising, and equipment needs for any team of business. Obviously, Kevin's dad, the outstanding football coach of West Morris, winning that state section title and the North Region title this year. What a year they had. The Hilliard kid at quarterback and Stefan Montella, he's going to be back. That guy's just a bull in the backfield. Fall is coming very soon, Dan. He certainly will. It Football teams can start practice already, Nick. That's right. Day after the state finals in baseball, you uh, can start practice. That's what I like to hear. Grounded a short. Afraid of this time over the first, he'll get the out to end the inning. But another three-run inning. As we head to the bottom of the six, our score, American 15, National 5. We'll be back here live on the Morris Sussex Sports Network.
A certified pre-owned Mercedes-Benz from Mercedes-Benz of Paramus is a lot like a new Mercedes-Benz. It's irresistible in every way, including the price. We have over 200 pre-owned vehicles to choose from. Plus, every certified pre-owned comes with factory-backed warranties and coverage to keep your vehicle operating at its best. You expect nothing less from Mercedes-Benz, so expect nothing less from a Mercedes-Benz dealership. When choosing a certified pre-owned Mercedes-Benz, choose Mercedes-Benz of Paramus. Few dealerships stand out like Mercedes-Benz of Paramus. From the inside to the outside, we have it all. A top-of-the-line showroom and lounge. The finest luxury cars, SUVs, and certified pre-owned too. A used car center. All makes and models in a wide range of prices. Choose between them. And welcome back. Bottom of the sixth on the hill. Aiden Alexander from Pope John, a junior lefty. And first pitch swing. Is Aiden Mitchell. Mitchell on the season? Alexander 36 and two thirds innings, 23 hits, 29 runs, 19 earned, 34 walks, 50 strikeouts, a 3.63 ERA. And around the horn, we got Dill from Del Barton at first, and that did not catch him. Sabbath from Aquanic at second, Mac Tufts at short. Jack Harley at third from Del Barton, Matt Dahl from Del Barton in left, and center Ian Kaiser from Monville, and Force from Monville out in right field. Our thanks to our producer, Sean, and Venaria behind the plate. Thank you, Sean. Our producer all over, not only producing, picking up the substitutions. The man is a talent. So one, two count, Alexander against Mitchell. Gets him on the off piece, pitch, strike out, first out of the inning. Nice 73 mile an hour, low and away. Good pitch there by Alexander. Here comes Brian. So you talk about football season, we mentioned already. We'll get to see this young man in some yeah, capacity, right. either yeah, running the right. ball, catching the ball, whatever Frank Marciano wants to do yep. football wise, Josh Brancy can deliver. Also, uh, for Newton, Braden Nolan on the on the team. He's here today. He hasn't yep. played yet today, but I'm sure we'll see him soon. Well, absolutely. Braden started as a freshman for Newton's football team when they won the state title. They got a nice two-team backfield there with him and Taylor Sibley's coming back. Oh, yeah. A new quarterback going to be taking over, Robert McCullough. Robert McCullough looks like he'll be the man. And most of their offensive lineback, Matt Parzero, does a great job there. Got to see Jack Young from Newton play in the North-South football game. Yeah, playing defensive back, right? Yes, he did. The Morris and Sussex area well represented last Sunday. That was a lot of fun to call. I believe uh, Zach Thomas from Morris Catholic had an interception he in the game. He had a pick, yep. Dylan Patcher and Kevin Coulter did a great job in the offensive line. Mm -hmm. Jefferson and Newton Vernon kids. Swing and a miss. Ooh, got the umpire. Got the bit. umpire, yep. And we'll check on it. Everyone will give him the courtesy. That's the risk you take being back there, not only as a catcher, but as an umpire, too. I like the old day, old school. You're too young to remember. <laughs> the American League used to have those blow-up chest protectors for the, for the umpires. The National League, for whatever reason, because back then, the National and American League were two different leagues. Right. There was no interleague play. Right. They only played in All-Star Games, Exhibitions, and World Series. Uh -huh. But the umpires were all different. You, if you were an American League umpire, you, you, you umpired the American League. They didn't cross over. Right. And the, one of the trademarks back in the 70s was they would use this big balloon chest protector. It looked like a flotation wow. device. Whereas the National League guys would wear it under their vest. Huh. You learn something new every day. You try to, right? Yeah. Hey, we want to thank everyone here at FDU Florham Park for the great hospitality, helping us out. We appreciate that. And again, want to thank Davey's Hot Dog and Grill right there. You're driving on Route 80. You can see it from Route 80. Yep. And sometimes on a good Sunday morning, you might be able to smell the hot dogs. <laughs> Stop by Davey's on Howard Boulevard. All right, one out. Alexander will deal to Brancy. Outside, two and two. Clouds coming in. They were calling for rain. Nick, uh, you're outside, unfortunately. What are you feeling out there? Yeah, they got some. They got definitely got some uh, umbrellas out. As that one set and settled down. Yeah, definitely got some umbrellas out here. Definitely feeling a little drops if I poke my hand outside here underneath the uh, press box. 
Matt Frieda will be up. He had a great year for High Point at okay. shortstop. One of the toughest outs in that division. 36 for 73, 493, 29 runs scored, 543 on base, 671 slugging, 15 ribbies, 17 stolen bases, a homer, a triple, and eight doubles from the leadoff spot, and played great shortstop for Coach Ryan Ellis. So two outs for Alexander trying to get a clean inning. Just inside. 84 on the gun. But high point of great future, winning... Piece of the freedom with almost everyone coming back. Swing and a miss by Fredo, one and two. So Alexander looking to have a clean inning here. Haven't had too many of those. Well, that's a tribute to the great hitting of all these young men. Right up the middle. Uh, was that the broadcaster, Jake Snick? I believe so. It certainly was. Base hit for Fredo right up the middle. We'll bring up Bettinger. Tanner Benninger from Sparta. His first at bat of the game. He had 387, 484 on base, 14 ribbies, and he was voted most improved player as he moved from third base to right field for Sam Sablosian. Sammy with over 350 wins, a bunch of league titles to his credit. He played his baseball at Jefferson for the great Mike Yonko. Ball gets passed. Fredo will motor into second. And Danny's going with the no batting gloves thing. I don't know how I feel about that. Yeah, that's it's old a, school. Yeah, that's very old school. If now, if you pulled up his uh, pant legs there, that'd be <laughs> real old school. <laughs> Fouled away. Will it stay in play? It will. Dill's under, and he'll squeeze it for the third out of the inning. So six innings in the books here. The Yang Jack underclassman game here live. On the Morris Sussex Sports Network, our score, the American side, 15, National 5. We'll head to the top of the seventh right after this. A certified pre-owned Mercedes-Benz from Mercedes-Benz of Paramus is a lot like a new Mercedes-Benz. It's irresistible in every way, including the price. We have over 200 pre-owned vehicles to choose from. Plus, every certified pre-owned comes with factory-backed warranties and coverage to keep your vehicle operating at its best. You expect nothing less from Mercedes-Benz, so expect nothing less from a Mercedes-Benz dealership. When choosing a certified pre-owned Mercedes-Benz, choose Mercedes-Benz of Paramus. Few dealerships stand out like Mercedes-Benz of Paramus. From the inside to the outside, we have it all. A top-of-the-line showroom and lounge. The finest luxury cars, SUVs, and certified pre-owned, too. A used car center. All makes and models in a wide range of prices. Choose between our on-site service center or we'll come to you. Here, our sales team makes your complete satisfaction their number one goal. Stand out in a vehicle from Mercedes-Benz of Paramus. Hey, we're back here, top of the seventh NJAC underclassman game. Hey, we, before we get going, I want to give a big shout out to Tommy Griffin, the former outstanding catcher from Roxbury, watching. He's coaching at Carson Newman, so give him a big shout out. Thanks for watching, Coach Griffin. Jacob Forgatch is on the hill for out of excuse me out of Par Hills. Uh, he coach plays for Pete Anzalone. Thirty-two innings pitched. Only six walks, 23 Ks, two and one, two saves. He had a one complete game and a 3.92 ERA. Playing for Pete Anzalone, who was PJ when I covered him when he was a kid at Vernon. Terrific player for the Vikings. And Pete's dad, Pete Sr., was a longtime successful baseball coach at West Milford. That's going to be inside. So 
Clouds coming in. Just a couple of sprinkles, but I think we're going to be okay. Says the guy that's sitting in the press box. It's not getting rained on. Yeah, we should be okay. Nick's, you, how are you doing out there? I'm My confirm. partner, Nick Federico, though, as I say, the hardest working man in show <laughs> business. Calls games, shoots games. I think we're going to be okay. We're definitely going to get it in. A pile, leaving that alone. Uh, this is Justin Ford. And I got him. Yep. So Ford will get the hit by a batter. And I'll bring up Force from Montville. Now batting, Hunter Force. Hunter Force. Gave you Hunter's numbers before, but we didn't with this double chuck. 24 for 77, 312, 15 runs, nine ribbies, eight doubles, two homers, seven stolen bases. Again, Montville always a terrific program. Coach DeVriglio there now. Ian Schwendel was there for years. Ian did the Morris County softball finals with me, and I confirmed, which I should have known, probably last one to know, his cousin's Frank the Tank for the Chicago Cubs, Frank Schwindel. Become a cult hero in Chicago. A little inside, and he got him again, so back to back. All-star game or not, Dan, it's not the way you want to start an outing no, for sure. No, not at all. Kaiser had a single, and he scored his last time up. Now batting. We're in the top of the seventh. We'll play nine. We've got a few more innings after this, weather permitting. We have Benninger at first. I think we've decided that was Scalera at second. Freda at short. And the young man from Mountain Lakes, Manatitis, fouled away. And give it chase. Number five is out in the outfield. Did he move over to left? He was in center. Mitchell's in center field. I know that for. I believe that's Osterhout. Indeed, that is. From Morris Catholic, he's out in left field. Mitchell in center. Pitch is left up high. And we'll get you to right field there in just a second. That might be possibly Braden Nolan because we haven't seen was, Braden yet. That's what I was thinking, Dan. I wasn't sure if Newton yep. was sporting the he, white or the maroon. We're in the white, okay. so that's Braden Nolan. Terrific football player as well. So nobody out after two hit by batters for Mr. Forgatch. He's going to try to settle in. And he's going to sky that out to Mr. Nolan. No one gets under it. Runners look to tag. Second base will tag. And the throw will come in and cut off. So the old uh, productive out, as <laughs> where I think we have to say as broadcasters. <laughs> yes. So Kaiser will move the runner over. Now batting Matt Dahl. Uh, bring up Matt Dahl from Del Bart. I believe Matt Dell did uh, mostly leadoff duties for Del Barton, if memory serves correctly. Dahl hit 365, 18 ribbies, and seven stolen bases. And I just hope the rain holds off for the young men that haven't played yet. Mm -hmm. At least get one swing. Forgash gets the strike, one out, and he's up 0-2 in the count. On deck is Joe Lapinto now checking in from Hanover Park. Pinto, a big part of Hanover Park, reaching that state final last year. Just getting better and better. Swing and a miss. And Forgash settles down. He'll pick up the second out. So let's bring up Joe Lapinto. Now batting Joe Lapinto. And there for a strike.
Pinto had the game winning hit against Lindhurst in the state tournament. Hit 276 on the season. Well, the brother was a great player at Hanover Park. Bobby, I believe he played at Fairfield. Getting those great players from Hanover Park, Coach Doug Ware. We talked about the great name that the Ware family has in Hanover Park. His dad, Wendell. His brother was a terrific player. So two out. Here in the top of the seventh. Four catch deals. Right above us. Fortunately, the rain's now really starting to come down. Yeah, I can see in that. And again, umpires are looking at each other. I don't know. I didn't check the radar if this is just blowing through or is this what we're getting for the rest of the evening. With two outs, I'm sure they're going to want to get this frame in, this top of the top of the seventh, and then the umpires will make a decision. Up high. Obviously, turf field can handle it. Yep. So whether they can play in the rain. This is a beautiful facility here at FDU. Absolutely. Again, I want to thank everyone for all their hospitality. Runner goes, but get the strikeout to end the inning. So the top of the seventh in the books. Our score, the American All-Stars 15, National 5. We'll head to the bottom of the seventh. Players smartly run out there before the umpires can tell them not to. And we'll have that bottom of the seventh right after this live on the Morris Sussex Sports Network. A certified pre-owned Mercedes-Benz from Mercedes-Benz of Paramus is a lot like a new Mercedes-Benz. It's irresistible in every way, including the price. We have over 200 pre-owned vehicles to choose from. Plus, every certified pre-owned comes with factory-backed warranties and coverage to keep your vehicle operating at its best. You expect nothing less from Mercedes-Benz, so expect nothing less from a Mercedes-Benz dealership. When choosing a certified pre-owned Mercedes-Benz, choose Mercedes-Benz of Paramus. You do. Back here at FDU Florham Park, rain coming down, bottom of the seventh on the hill is Joe Lupinto from Hanover Park. 52 innings pitch, 3.10 ERA, 49 hits, 27 runs, 23 earned, 67 Ks, 15 walks. A good ratio there for Lupinto. And again, hey, we want to thank 1776 Top Golf Swing Suite, located on the opposite side of 1776 by David Burke. It's a great place to have a sports watch party, practice golf swings, hold corporate events, celebrate birthdays, or just relax with friends and family while enjoying great food and drinks created by David now Burke. For the team, eight, Joe so 1776, a great place to go in Morristown. Also want to thank Destination Athlete and Davies Hot Dogs. So John Raleigh from West Morris will get his first at bat. Did a nice job catching. Raleigh on the season, 354 off Lepinto. Can he beat it out? Lepinto with the throw. Oh, and he's safe. Very close play at first. The fact that Lepinto made that a play was pretty darn impressive. Yes, absolutely. So take a look at this. Raleigh, the catcher. Who says coaches are slow? <laughs> Besides me. But Lepinto made this a lot closer than I thought it would be. Kind of throwing wow. his back foot, right? Like and a great stretch yeah. by Dill. We'll have a courtesy runner. Now batting Ryan Osterhout. Ryan Osterhout from Morris Catholic will be up. Raleigh's numbers for the year, 354, 24 RBIs. As he is a clutch hitter, according to Coach Tom Rydell, and he's going to be battling for 
starting position as the quarterback next year for the Wolfpack, defending champs. And Osterhout out of Morris Catholic, playing for Coach Nick Berg, who's coaching this game. 18 for 53, hit 340, 12 runs. He had seven RBIs, four doubles, seven stolen bases, on base of 841. And he was usually third or fourth in the middle of the Crusader lineup. Luke Dickerson coming on as that courtesy runner. South in on the outside corner. So bottom of seven, scheduled for nine. We'll see what Mother Nature has to say, but with this beautiful turf field, they got him. Great move wow. by Lapinto, and he gets the courtesy runner. Nice quick move there by Lapinto. Just a little too far, Luke Dickerson. Dickerson with those great wheels was leaning, and Lapinto knows. These guys all know each other. They might not be in the same division. They see each other in club ball, travel ball. So Osterhout outside. So one out here in the top of the seventh. American All-Stars with the 15-5 lead over National All-Stars. Thanks for joining us here live in the Morris Sussex Sports Network. Hot shot. Nice snag at second. Over the first, beautiful play, and that was Leisure. Derek Leisure with a sparkling play. Leisure played shortstop all year, but played second yesterday. Uh, this year, excuse me. Manny House will come up for Mountain Lakes. He hit 275, 32 hits, 21 runs. Likes pressure situations. And does a great job of moving the runners. That was a great job by Leisure and a good play at first by Dill. Real nice backhanded grab there by Leisure. Again, played second last year, short this year for Coach Steve Myron, who's coaching the game today. He's on the staff of the American, along with Mark Rizzi from Randolph, Steve Myron from Vernon, Kyle Murphy from Morristown, the other team, Eric Mendrabo from Morris Knowles, and Nick Berg from Morris Catholic. Hey, I want to give a big shout out to all the Morris County baseball coaches. They got back to me with their stats. Can't always trust what you see online. And I want to do a thorough job. And everybody got back to me. So thank you so much, guys. That, that means a lot to us. It makes the broadcast so much better. So the numbers I'm giving to you folks are coming right from the coaches, right from their source. Really do appreciate that as always. It just shows how they're into it. Yep. They, want to, they want to get their kids the right numbers and the right exposure. I mean, Greg Trotter's out in Omaha at the College World Series, and he sent me his stats. That's right. Great job by Coach Trotz. On the outside corner, former Pope John coach Vinny Bello out there watching his son Michael play for Auburn. 2-2. Two -two. Pinto deals, and that's a strike. So he'll get the unconventional 1-2-3 with the pick move. And the strikeout will end the, the seventh inning. We got seven in the books. And Jack, underclassman All Star Classic. It's the American All Stars 15, the National Five. We'll be back with the top of the eighth right after this, live on the Morris Sussex Sports Network. A certified pre-owned Mercedes-Benz from Mercedes-Benz of Paramus is a lot like a new Mercedes-Benz. It's irresistible in every way, including the price. We have over 200 pre-owned vehicles to choose from. Plus, every certified pre-owned comes with factory-backed warranties and coverage to keep your vehicle operating at its best. You expect nothing less from Mercedes-Benz, so expect nothing less from a Mercedes-Benz dealership. When choosing a certified pre-owned Mercedes-Benz, choose Mercedes-Benz of Paramus. 
Back here live on the Morris Sussex Sports Network at FDU Florham Park in Jack Underclassman game. Again, thank Jimmy McDermott, Westmore's assistant coach for and Mr. Morris County Baseball in my book. He's been involved in baseball in this area for over 40 years. He was a young guy playing at CCM and coaching the Morris County Majors. He's been everywhere. He's a great guy. Got this game organized. So we want to thank Jimmy. Pitching now, Sebastian Eckert, a lefty junior from West Morris. Got a great change up. 78 to 81 on the gun, but he mixes that up pretty well. 34 innings pitch, a 2.40 ERA, three for, um, he had five saves, so he came out of the pen a lot. 36 8 ratio K to walks, so did a good job for the Wolfpack. So we head to the top of the eighth. Looks like the rain let up a little bit. Has it, Nick? Yeah, a little bit. Wind's definitely picking up, though. Nick Federico working the camera and doing some color for us. Doing a great job, as always. Thank you, Dan. Appreciate that. This is Venaria, the catcher from Paquanic. The outside. So, once again, two guys familiar with each other rolling behind the dish. Ecker on the mound. Seen that a couple cases today. A little Mount Olive action. Yeah, kind of Ramsey and JT Abruzzi. Right. Fouled away. No lights here at FDU, so when the clouds come in, the clouds come in. Seen a lot of planes flying over today from the Morris County to the Morristown Airport. Morristown over there. Airport. We're seeing a little Shea Stadium slash City Field feel. Ecker deals low. Kind of want to thank Davies Hot Dogs. Grill and Deli. Stop in for a bread hot dog, Philly cheesesteak, or a fat sandwich. They also serve breakfast all day. They even have a full selection of beers. Celebrating the 40th year, Davies Hot Dogs right off Route 80, Howard Boulevard in Mount Arlington. That's where I'm getting my dinner tonight after There this you one. go. Nice piece of hitting there, serving it out to right field, but that's going to hang out there for a fly ball to right first out of the inning. Now batting Aiden Dill. Aiden Dill will come up for Del Barton. Also want to thank 1776, Chance Healy, former player for Jim McDermott. Brings a modern hip dining experience to Morristown. The menu with Chef David Burke's specialty dishes and approachable world-class menu is second to none. Seasonal foods are presented with elevated flair that creates an exciting happening place full of fun and energy. It's a modern dining experience with craft cocktails and a superior international wine list, all in a dramatic and beautiful setting. Check that out. 1776, located in Morristown. Morristown, a great place to go to get dinner. It's just a great place socially all together. Great, great town. They've done great things over there at Morristown. A destination athlete, Kevin Henley, your one-stop shopping. They can handle all of your apparel, fundraising, and equipment needs for any team or business. Call them at 908-500-0685 or email them at kevinhenley at destinationathlete.com. So one out. Dill. Time was called. And again, I want to thank George Muha, the executive producer, owner of Morris Sussex Sports. Subscribe to the YouTube channel to get all the notifications when the game's on. We'll have some stuff over the summer, a lot of uh, semi-pro soccer. See the Morris Elite play. And George is always adding games. And he's just gearing up for a huge fall. And if you want to be part of the action, send him an email at george at morrissussexsports.com. He'll get your game on. If you want to advertise, 4 million views on his platforms. There's no better place to get your business exposed. And also the digital playing cards uh, about an athlete. will come and do a little documentary on your favorite player. A lot of good stuff going on at Morris Sussex Sports. So send George an email at georgeandmorrissussexsports.com. And check out the wrap-up report. Nick, let everyone know about that. Yeah, wrap-up report. It's, uh, we usually, we're now, we're doing it. It's still Thursdays at 6 o'clock and premieres every week. So we just covered the... Uh, all the All-Star games going on, the Robeson game, the East-West game, the Phil Sims North-South game, your uh, S-Tri-C softball All-Star game, Dan. Squeezed by the third baseman. He got it. Second out of the inning. 
We cover uh, we basically covered everything under the sun. We did a couple previews there for the fall with a couple players to watch out for. We'll be doing that in the next couple weeks. So, got a lot to look forward to. Good. Was uh, Stefan Montella one of those guys? Uh, I'm sure he will be. He certainly would. That give you just a tank for West Morris. Keep it with the West Morris theme with the the battery, both will pack. I went with uh, I went with Morris Catholic running back Max Yakaza this week. There you go. Very talented player. Yeah, absolutely playing for the great John Hack. Now batting Mac Tufts. So this will be Mac Tufts from Pope John. Tufts hit a double first time up. So I think everyone's gotten a swing on the American side. National side, maybe a couple guys. But I think they'll get their hacks in the bottom of the eighth and bottom of the ninth. I think Brandon Nolan's going to be due up first. In the, uh... Yeah, as long as that, you know what, that's the main thing. Everyone get at least yep. one at back, get some time in the field. Hopefully we beat Mother Nature here. Eckerd deals. That's up high. Two outs here in the top of the eighth. We will be playing nine, which is the right call. With all the guys you want to get into the game. Jim McDermott, a great job running this today. That's going to be outside. Three and one. Ecker, Hole, and Rotundo will give the Wolfpack a great starting rotation next year. That'll be low for a ball. And full disclosure, my nephew James pitches for that team and got his varsity letter helping them out. So James Cleary, an upcoming pitcher for them as well. Maybe that's a name to watch out for come next spring. Jones. Well, let's hope so. Put a lot of work in. Must be Joe Sabbath. In there for a strike. 78 on the inside part. Good job there. He's been measured to go 78 to 82. But he's got a great changeup. See if we see that here. He did take it off, and the guy getting a hold of that deep to left. Is that going to have a chance? No, over the left fielder's head. Tough. Wow. Can he fly? Yes, he can. <laughs> I just thought he'd be rounding second. He was coming home. So Mac Tufts flies around the bags and Sabbath gets himself an RBI double. That one seemed to hung in the air a while there. That's what gave the runner an opportunity to. Well, two outs he took off, so he had a, had a chance. Justin Ford will bat again. We saw him pitch. Oster Howe gave chase out there and left. Just that was tattooed and. And we were talking before, Coach McDermott and, and you too, Nick. A lot of some of these balls that have been hit today would be out at high school places. Absolutely. I think that was one of them. That might have been gone. And yeah, we got 325 to right, 390 dead center, 370 to about left center, and then 325 down the third baseline. Yeah, not too many high school fields no. with these kind of dimensions. Some have been close, though. Yeah, true. Some have been definitely up near the warning track, up near the wall. Shows you the power of some of these Absolutely. players. Absolutely. Two outs, Ford with a runner on second, another run in, 16-5. That's outside. I wish I could hit a baseball that far, Dan. I could if I was on the warning track. <laughs> <laughs> and even then it's questionable. It ripped. Ow. And that will good cut off by Osterhout, but that'll be an RBI single. He's going two. And he will get in with the double. Again, it's deep enough, 325 out. Absolutely. And again, all-star game, why not? Absolutely. Now batting Hunter Force. This would be Hunter Force out of Montville. Courtesy runner going to come Now, on. we didn't think we'd see Ford again because he kind of was cramped up or he, he got hit on a foul ball. Yes. And that's a tough kid, man. Well, he wants to get in there and get his hacks. Yeah. Uh, I don't blame him. And he got a hit last time. He, got, he banged his leg and the they got a runner for him. That even tells you even more gutsy that he went to second. 
No Cobbling doubt. along there. Good job by him. So Force will step in, fouls away to first pitch. So, Dan, you had your uh, your annual uh, softball star game. Are you signing autographs for the nice people there? Uh, if anyone asked, <laughs> the only autographs people want from me and Nick are on the bottom of a check. Uh, I see. But it was a great night. We had wonderful weather. We had a great turnout. one nothing game. There's a little grounder, and that's going to be a tough play for Freighter at first short, and it'll be overthrown, and the run will come in. So infield's hit for force. Run scores on the error. They want to thank Sussex County Community College Athletic Director John Kuntz and softball coach Jamie Berger. one nothing game. Great pitching duel. Sid, Van, uh, Sid Griffon from Vernon. Did a great job. And the two pitchers, Carly Mayhood and Brianna Jones, they got the win. one nothing game. So bring up Kaiser. 18-5 our score here in the top of the eighth inning. Hector Deals fouled away. He will look out. Now batting Ian Kaiser. A lot of damage done here with two outs. 13 run lead for the American squad. Again, if you tuned in just now, you're like, oh, been dominant. But the first inning, National jumped out to the 3 0 lead. Yep. Excuse me, swing there. Kaiser stays alive. Oh, Dan, I just noticed that the 4 3 4 3 uh, went away there. We had, to, we had a zero in the seventh inning. So we're not going to play those numbers nope, on the not. lottery? I guess not. Ecker, the lefty, going to the lefty Kaiser, ready to deal. One, two count, two outs. That'll be low for a ball. Two, two pitch. And bounces, Roly really tried to get in front of it. Runner will advance. We're at about the 235 mark of this one. Game started at their introductions at about 440. Sky foul. Uh, Seems to have hit a car over there. Uh, Don't like that. I'm not parked over there. Thank <laughs> God. Is it Sean's car, our producer? Uh, no, it was a little farther than that. Okay. All right. He's okay. I'm definitely okay. I'm on the other side of the campus. I think you're at FDU <laughs> Yeah, I think so. You're at the Metropolitan <laughs> Campus. I'm going to I'm gonna have to drive you over to Bergen County after the game. <laughs> get your car. Ground to the first. Gobbled up. And that will end the inning. So good job there by the Sparta first baseman, Tanner Bettinger. So... We'll head to the bottom of the eighth here in the NJAC Underclassmen All-Star Game. The American All-Stars 18, National 5. We'll be back with the bottom of the eighth right after this.
A certified pre-owned Mercedes-Benz from Mercedes-Benz of Paramus is a lot like a new Mercedes-Benz. It's irresistible in every way, including the price. We have over 200 pre-owned vehicles to choose from. Plus, every certified pre-owned comes with factory-backed warranties and coverage to keep your vehicle operating at its best. You expect nothing less from Mercedes-Benz, so expect nothing less from a Mercedes-Benz dealership. When choosing a certified pre-owned Mercedes-Benz, choose Mercedes-Benz of Paramus. Few dealerships stand out like Mercedes-Benz of Paramus. From the inside to the outside, we have it all. A top-of-the-line showroom and lounge. The finest luxury. And we're back here, bottom of seventh, pitching for the American team, Ryan Barry out of Chatham. And Ryan this year to lefty, 27 and third innings, a 1.27 ERA, 12 earned runs, 25 strikeouts, 11 Ks. Doing a nice job for the Cougars. And this would be Braden Nolan to lead off the bottom of the ninth. The outstanding athlete from Newton High School. Nolan hit 405, 32 hits, 23 RBIs, 12 stolen bases. And just a great football player. Led the Newton Braves in tackles as a freshman when they won the state title. Actually, he wasn't on that team. He was a uh, team at his first year after they won the state title. But either way, as a freshman on a perennial state tournament team to lead the team in tackles, pretty darn impressive. His older brother Peyton was a great player at Newton. Plays for Scott Zimit. He's gonna be one of that one of those two headed monsters there. At Newton Taylor Sibley is a very good running back as well mm -hmm. for Newton that showed up back half of the year and. Of course, Newton had that undefeated regular season, beat Verona in round one, and then was upset by Jefferson in round two in the semis. Chopper to second. Leisure will gobble that up over the first, first out. Newton has a very strong tradition in baseball in Sussex County. The only team to win a state title, 1985 Newton Braves. Mike Bell is a professional is baseball player for them. And they had some great players. Josh Navisky played in the minor leagues. Billy Siska was a great player. William Patterson. Charlie Monroe. All played for Bob Melillo. Made the state final several times. Won it all in 85. This is Scalera out of Hackettstown. John, 27-43, hit 325. 506 slugging, 24 runs, 17 ribbies, two home runs. For Coach Gary Poyer has done a great job at that program. Over 250 wins for Coach Poyer. He's going to foul it away. Scalero came in and was playing some second base. Barry, 2-1 pitch coming. It's in there for a strike. 2-2. Two two. Can Davies Hot Dog, 1776 restaurant in Morristown. Also, they have the Top Golf Swing Suite. That's a great place to watch a game, get some swings in, have some great drinks and food. A little off speed. So check them out in Morristown. And Destination Athlete, Kevin Henley. Go to Kevin, uh, send an email to Kevin Henley at destinationathlete.com. The one-stop shopping for apparel, fundraising, equipment needs for your team or business. It's Destination Athlete. Off the fist, and that'll go right to Dill at first. Two outs. I believe this is Aiden Mitchell. Aiden Mitchell. Plays in the summer for the Miners young team, Sussex County Miners. Ryan Ellis, the coach, first pitch swinging. Is that and Leisure is going to camp under it? Derek Leisure will make the catch. And a one, two, three inning here in the bottom of the eighth. So we're going to head to the ninth inning here of the NJAC underclassmen game. All American, they have the 18 to 5 lead. We'll be back with the top of the ninth right after this.
A certified pre-owned Mercedes-Benz from Mercedes-Benz of Paramus is a lot like a new Mercedes-Benz. It's irresistible in every way, including the price. We have over 200 pre-owned vehicles to choose from. Plus, every certified pre-owned comes with factory-backed warranties and coverage to keep your vehicle operating at its best. You expect nothing less from Mercedes-Benz, so expect nothing less from a Mercedes-Benz dealership. When choosing a certified pre-owned Mercedes-Benz, choose Mercedes-Benz of Paramus. And welcome back. We head to the top of the ninth of the NJAC Underclassman All-Star Classic and taking the mound will be Matt Sabato for the national team. Matt had a great year for Ryan Ellis. He was 4-0 with 45 innings pitched, 39 hits, 22 walks, 13 earned runs, a 2.02 ERA, a 1.36 whip. He also could hit. He had hit 354 with 12 ribbies, 17 runs, 13 stolen bases. He had 23 base hits, but he's going to be called upon the pitch here in the top of the ninth. Now pitching for the national team, number 10, Matt. So this would be Matt Dahl will be up first for Dale Barton here in the top of the ninth. Matt Dahl. This will be our final inning. And it looks like Mother Nature is going to cooperate. We had a little sprinkle come through. We'll go to our meteorologist, Nick Federico. Nick, what are we doing out there? Uh, just a little sprinkle now, Dan. <laughs> uh, still umbrellas out, but I think we're good to go. Are you in Chopper, Morris, Sussex 1? <laughs> yeah. We have a chopper? <laughs> That'd be something. Well, it's a, it's a Schwinn with some baseball cards and the spokes, like a, <laughs> like a chopper. We got a motorcycle. We we'll have to get George on that. Yes. More, more Sussex one to jet us around to all these games. All right. Spado deals little three quarters action there, Nick. Yep. And this is great. You know, a kid like Spado's not going to see Del Barton. They're mm -hmm. not going to high point and Del Barton are really not going to play each other. Yeah, it's good experience. So you see him with you know some top notch hitting here. Mm -hmm. Good experience going up against. Absolutely. That's what, another thing, a great thing about this game. Teams that normally won't play each other, these kids get to see these other types of uh, players and that skill level. Yep. So, again, hats off to Jim McDermott running this game. Mr. Morris County Baseball, in my opinion. A little off speed. Even to count at 2 2. John Raleigh behind the dish. West Morris product. Spotto ready to deal. Outside, and that's going to be a ball four. And a leadoff walk for Dahl. So this will bring up Toby Smith. The big guy going to take a swing here. He had 423 with 26 RBIs. We saw him pitch earlier. Again, Hanover Park made that run to the section final. North 2, Group 2, fell to Caldwell. It's about O'Deals. It's in there for a strike. Throw over. Again, Davies Hot Dogs and Grill and Delhi located on Howard Boulevard right off Route 80, celebrating their 40th year. Coach McDermott has his meetings there and a big part of why we have this game live on the Morris Hills Sports Network, celebrating 40 years. Stop in for a bread hot dog, burger, Philly cheesesteak, cheese or a fat sandwich. They also serve breakfast all day and they even have a full selection of beers. So that checks off a lot of things in the checklist there, Nick. You don't have to tell me twice. And that's going to be on the corner for the strikeout. First out of the inning. This is Venaria. Now batting John Venaria. The catcher out of Aquanic. And seventeen seventy six, great restaurant. I want to thank Chance Healy, who played for Jim McDermott, for getting the sponsorship from them. Great restaurant in Morristown. Also has the top golf swing suite. 
practice your swing, catch a game, have a great sports watch party there, birthdays, or just relax with friends and family. Drinks developed and created by David Burke, right in the middle of Morristown. Great place. Battle snap throw by Raleigh, and he's back. Just in time. Nice snap throw by Raleigh. Almost got Dahl at first base. And got him swinging. Back-to-back so -back case for Sabato. He's got that unorthodox delivery, Nick. He's come a little three-quarters. Yep. 79 on the outside part of the plate, able to get the lefty, or the righty, excuse me. And this is the type of, when you come three-quarters, Dill's going to see this. So he's, let's see if he changes his approach to the lefty. We'll go with it first. Again, a great matchup for Matt. He's not going to see guys like Del Barton, although the Freedom Division is a great division. No knock on them, but you're not going to see kids like Del Barton. It's going to be a pie. And, and, Nick, you've seen a lot of the younger guys in Morris County doing those Cubs games. Yeah, absolutely. A lot of great showcase, like I said. Runner, runner goes. Team. Raleigh's throw down there. Not in time. They're rolling the center, but the runner will hold. Yeah, we saw a lot of guys up close and personal over two days. I think I think it was uh, Tuesday and Wednesday. Tuesday we were at uh, Mount Olive, and then we were at Horseshoe Lake for the junior and – I'm sorry, the sophomore juniors. Watching them play. Very good opportunity to see all the young talent in, around the area and Morris County specifically. And, you know, we, that's why I'm saying I was kind of disappointed when you said that James Cleveland wasn't pitching because he has an important showcase tomorrow because the kid just throws heat. We were sitting right behind home plate and it was fast, Dan. Yeah, he, as we said, we got the start in the Morris County final. Going against the young man that's in the batter's box now, he didn't do. And it's not that Cleveland pitched bad at all. He pitched no. really well, but it's just, you know, Del Barton's lineup one through nine is just awesome. And they have been for many years. And he's going to turn on that, and that's going to be snagged at first base by Bettinger, so that'll end the top of the ninth. The following cards so. will be ticketed if they're not moved. The red Tesla license plate W. So we'll head to the bottom of the ninth. Our score, 18-5. We'll be back live on the Morris Sussex Sports Network. And the A certified pre-owned Mercedes-Benz from Mercedes-Benz of Paramus is a lot like a new Mercedes-Benz. It's irresistible in every way, including the price. We have over 200 pre-owned vehicles to choose from. Plus, every certified pre-owned comes with factory-backed warranties and coverage to keep your vehicle operating at its best. You expect nothing less from Mercedes-Benz, so expect nothing less from a Mercedes-Benz dealership. When choosing a certified pre-owned Mercedes-Benz, choose Mercedes-Benz of Paramus. And we're back here, bottom of the ninth. Joe Sabbath coming in to pitch from Pequannock. Joe on the year, 2.11 ERA, 73 Ks, 53 innings pitch. And he had a great game and a loss, a 1-0 loss to Ramsey in the state tournament. Ramsey won a state title. That kid, Will Kirk, great pitcher up there. So Sabbath in there from Pequannock. And Josh Brancy will get another at bat here in the bottom of the ninth. Again, Davies Hot Dogs, Grill and Deli, 1776. Want to thank Chance Healy and Destination Athlete. Want to thank Kevin Henley. So it looks like we're going to get all nine in. Mother Nature, 
Had a couple of sprinkles, but on this beautiful turf field, not an issue. 18-5. Score not important. The important thing is all these guys had a good time and got the eyes of college co coaches as that's going to dunk in for opposite field single. And there were a lot of scouts here today and also hopefully a bunch watching here live on the Morris Sussex Sports Network. Coach Griffin from Carson Newman, the former great Roxbury catcher. He's watching online. We thank him for that. Now that would be Matt Frieda from High Point. Hard no shortstop. Now we foul. Umbrella's popping up again. I don't feel anything yet, Dan, but I guess people are getting ready, I guess. Maybe. Maybe you're just numb to it, Nick. Maybe. I don't know. And after the final out, stay tuned. We're going to have the awards. And we'll various awards. Offensive player, defensive player, catcher, uh, pitcher, excuse me. Jim McDermott will give those out, so don't go anywhere. Again, I want to thank Jim. It was great having him on. We were we were almost half joking, but I would love to do a show where I just sit and talk Morris County, Sussex County baseball with, with Jim McDermott. We could do that for hours on end. I think it would make for good content. I, I well, Maybe if Jim and I might be the only ones that might think that's great. but <laughs> I'd watch. We'll, we'll fill it up content. If George needs some hours to be filled. I'll do the camera. How about that? There you go. All right. And we'll slap headsets on you, oh, too. That's cool. I'm good with anything. We appreciate you doing color and shooting. Of course. We had Coach McDermott on for the first few innings, and our great producer, Sean Bradwick, said, don't forget Nick. <laughs> it's like, how would we never forget Nick? Never. But Brancy on with the opposite field. Single throw over. So Sabbath on the hill out of Aquanic. And takes second on the pass ball. A one two count, no outs here in the bottom of the ninth. Runner on second. Again, the fall coming up before you know it. You want to subscribe to the Morris Sussex Sports YouTube page. And if you want to advertise, there's no better place with 4 million views on all the platforms George has. He's amazing on social media. And that's going to be chopped. That's going to be a no man's land. That's going to be an infield hit, I think. Let's see. And they'll call him out. It's the bottom of the ninth, and it's 18-5. Wow. Eight, He's going to get called out. <laughs> I say I was close there. The Very close. Base. I think dif different circumstances, that might have been called Maybe safe. so. Maybe. We're not sure. But, again, uh, Morris Sussex Sports is the place to go. Send an email to George at George at Morris Sussex Sports. He'll hook you up. This is Tanner Benninger from Sparta. He's been solid at first base. Big swing. George does a great job at that social media. We gotta get you on social media, Dan. I don't know what that means. <laughs> you just read the Shop script out. in front of you that says social media. Okay. That's that's all. That's as far as I know. <laughs> I think I might join the MySpace. The MySpace. Is that is that the kids on the MySpace these days? <laughs> or the InstaFace. InstaFace. Okay, is that what it is? The SnapFace. <laughs> Outside, Dan, you'd be a you would be a must follow, I think. I don't know. That's that's a loaded statement right there. <laughs> <laughs> a must follow on social media. Yes. I hope you mean. <laughs> yes. Let's get that clear. <laughs> that's out of the pitch, on the outside corner, and he's going to get the strikeout. Second out of the inning. So, final at bat could be Mr. John Raleigh, who's been. Toiling behind the plate, doing a nice job. John Raleigh. Out of West Morris. Brancy on third. Again, I want to thank our sponsors, Davies Hot Dogs, Grill, and Deli. Mount, Mount Allington right there, right off Route 80 on Howard Boulevard, 1776 Restaurant in Morristown. I want to thank Chance Healy, former player for... Coach McDermott and Destination Athlete Kenneth Henley for sponsoring today's broadcast. 
Well, that's in there for a strike. So Sabbath looking to close it out. And we will have the award winners right after the final out. We'll see if it's John Raleigh or someone else. He's going to chop it to short. Gobbled up by Tufts, and that'll it. 6-3 put out. So a entertaining game today. A lot of offense. 18-5, a big win for the Americans over the National. But more importantly, these young players you got a chance to show their talents in front of college scouts here and online. So coaches and everyone will shake hands, probably take some pictures. We'll take a quick break. We'll be right back with the awards right after this, live on the Morris Sussex Sports Network. A certified pre-owned Mercedes-Benz from Mercedes-Benz of Paramus is a lot like a new Mercedes-Benz. It's irresistible in every way, including the price. We have over 200 pre-owned vehicles to choose from. Plus, every certified pre-owned comes with factory-backed warranties and coverage to keep your vehicle operating at its best. You expect nothing less from Mercedes-Benz, so expect nothing less from a Mercedes-Benz dealership. When choosing a certified pre-owned Mercedes-Benz, choose Mercedes-Benz of Paramus. All righty, and we have the awards. Award goes to Anthony Bubba and Pope John. Anthony Bubba, pitcher, will be given the award by Jim McDermott. Anthony worked very quickly in the inning he was in. The Offensive Player of the Game Award goes to Colin Richter from Roxbury. Colin Richter from Roxbury, the Offensive Player of the Game. He had that belt early in the game, a big triple. Well deserved there. And the Defensive Player of the Game Award goes to Jay Klein from Vernon. Jay Klein, the catcher from Vernon. He threw out a runner. Did a great job behind the dish. So there are our award winners. Again, want to thank everyone here at FDU Florham Park. Want to thank Jim McDermott. Want to thank everyone at Morris Sussex yeah, Sports. No Nick comments. Federico, our great cameraman, hardest working man in showbiz and color commentator. And Sean Frederick, the terrific producer. We want to thank him for all his hard work. All right, folks, that'll wrap it up. Hope you enjoyed it. Enjoy your summer. Keep checking in on more Sussex Sports social media and YouTube page. We'll have action over the summer. And I hope to see you soon live on more Sussex Sports. I'm Dan Cleary. Good night, everyone.